What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? Need a podcast episode 117. We are at 117. That's where we're at. Um, that's a lot of podcasts. But what you guys don't realize in the chat, if you're live now, is that Boss Bot Wars is up to fifteen hundred dollar prize pool. That that's that's a that's a great a great prize pool. And the, the higher we get, the more eyes we will get. My man, Mister Football, Mister Eighty Eight with the raid. So that's a big prize pool, boys, for a for a privately funded event with no sponsors. Uh, that's a that's a big prize pool. Well, can't say that you guys know players lounge holds us down with the boss bot wars so it is 1500 so that's going to be a huge uh prize pool coming up in the next boss bot wars and i told you guys the next boss bot wars is a week from saturday so next saturday the next boss bot wars part two is um next week next saturday that's when we're going to drop that but i appreciate all you guys being here this is a a special special pod because club series did end uh club series was it was worth the wait so to speak it was fun to watch it was entertaining i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys watched it i don't know where you guys watched the watch the club series did you check it out here did you check in the watch party did you watch the live ea stream to get your drops Wh whatever y'all did hope you guys enjoyed it. it was awesome and j wall did win j wall did win 150 grand so I was gonna say without further ado, let's check in with the man, see if he's here. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. There he is. Mr. J Wall, the the two hundred thousand dollar man, man. First I gotta tell you congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so I mean it seems like you've been a busy person this last week or so. Uh tell what what has the life been like from the winter after a couple days? Uh I've basically just been doing homework, which homework. is kinda lame, but I uh, I don't I mean, know. It's it's kind of it, it's nice to uh, to get back to just like not Madden stuff, you know. Not Madden stuff. So, um, would you say in the last since Madden Twenty One comes out, what was your percentage of your life that was committed to Madden? Uh, it like waking hours. I don't know. Probably like. 60 percent that that might okay. be that that's probably about right okay i don't know okay that worked out though right i mean it worked i mean you could yeah. get better results yeah, I guess. It's, yeah. It definitely. all right so i do have a ton of questions for you i i have been thinking all the questions we get asked i'm not really too interested in the mad the nerdy madden stuff you know that i mean uh we could get into that if, if, if that's your twist but you know i mean i i i didn't think any of the games were that great uh, and I'll ask you first, what do you think was your toughest game in the final 32? Because I know what your toughest game was in the whole tournament. But in the final 32, what do you think your toughest game was, I'll ask you? Um, I, I don't know. It's tough because, like, the the Poison game, I feel like was, like, the hardest one because I had to win at the end. But I, I don't know. I, I, the only one where I was, like, worried about... Like, like I was worried in every game, or like, uh, but the only one where I was maybe on on my back, on my heels or whatever, was the fancy game when he was like driving before I got the pick. That was the one where I would say it's probably my hardest game. Was uh was fancy? Did he catch the Randy Moss on you? I think did he catch? No, that was, was on D Cross. Yeah, that, that was, was on D Cross. Yeah, I can't, I can't lie, man. Randy Moss was going yeah. crazy. Uh, Poison was the one that caught the. Uh, the moss on you on the two people you know what I'm saying? okay so so what's up with these glasses i see you have a plethora of glasses is this like did you go to claire's in the oh, yeah. mall and just no, get no, glasses? No, no. so because the derma james show is sponsored by oakley they sent me like four pairs of oakley's did you ask and... for any pairs that, that looked okay or what did you just, they just uh, what you got? Nah, but i mean these look pretty damn good so Okay. Oh, well, that's not. I mean, that's not bad. So are these like okay? So you, listen, go with the sponsor because you know if they send me stuff, I would rock it too. Like you know NordVPN and the gamer subs and everything. You got to ride with them because they are the fuel to the fire. You know. So and let them know that there's another competition called Bot Wars that they could be interested in as well, other than uh, Derwin versus the world. Now I asked you. I asked the chat. Do we reach out to Derwin to be in Boss Bot Wars? Do you think he would accept? I don't know. I don't know if he would accept. But I think he would. He actually likes. Uh, he actually likes Madden. So I mean. Oh yeah, I seen him. He was super sweaty. Now I would ask you, 
If Earl played Derwin right now, what is the line? <laughs> uh, I feel like I don't feel like Earl Earl's gonna score, but like I don't know. I, I just feel like Earl's Earl's defense might give Derwin fits. So I think it's gotta be Earl minus like five and a half. That's what Ooh, I go with. Uh, Earl a favorite versus Derwin. Ah, that's tough, Chad. You guys can answer that question too. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I what I, I saw Derwin beat TD Barrett. I didn't think Derwin could hang that's with TD true. Barrett. He did pop TD. I mean, that's that's a tough question. But mm-hmm. J Wall has Earl as the favorite, man. Yeah. Well, t- that's tough. But uh, yeah. So there it is. So all right, I'm gonna ask you this question, and I ask people all this time: Who would you who who would you love to see Earl play? See or play? Yeah, give me a surprise Ooh. boss, a secret boss. I mean, my, my favorite pick is I, I want to see Deliverance on Bob Warriors. That, that would be the best <laughs> for me, personally. Deliverance? I don't know if, he, know if he'd want to do it. He's he's obviously like way more had way more Madden success than the other people on Bob Warriors, but there's mm-hmm. the, the back and forth would be elite. I mean, that's a bust out pick. Not a lot of people go with Deliverance, so that's definitely a bust out pick. Um, so we'll see. We'll put it in a bunch. We're going to reach out to Derwin before the show is over. We're going to reach out. I have a plethora of questions for the J-Wall, man, that I've been writing all day to, because it's a lot of things that I, I'm, and I'm glad. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm glad you, I'm not, you know, you're not my guy, my crew, but, you know, you, it adds a lot of conversations, specifically the trips are his bunch. Can we retire that argument now? Do you think it's been retired? What do you mean? Like, like, the, like what's better? What's easier? Um, what's, oh, they, what's, yeah. The, the easy thing is stupid, but the better, I mean, I guess, I, I guess this year it's it's trips right now, right? Like, all right. Now I ask you, uh, when you went into the tournament, I felt like your bunch of defense was very good. Um, were you were you you know happier to play against trips tight end or bunch? What was what did you feel like you matched up better up against? Uh, I don't know. I felt, I, I honestly, it was weird. Like on defense, I felt really good versus trips just because I had played it so much. I knew how I wanted to get pressure and I didn't feel like I could get pressure that well versus bunch, which I mean, it, it I ended up just like sending two most of the time and it was okay, mm-hmm. but I didn't feel like that great, honestly, versus bunch, Okay. At, but it worked out. So, okay. Yeah. I, I, like I said, trips is easier, you know, but I mean, that's, that's another mm-hmm. argument. It's, it's Especially, for instance, like weekend league, the trips guys are hell. There's nobody that plays yeah. much, that plays bunch that's good, but the trips guys, they know how to run that, you know, put their little guy on a smart routed corner route, and they're good. But that's neither here nor there. Now, I'll ask you this um, What do you think, if I gave you a question, Jay Wall, what was your biggest play of the tournament? The one that, you know, you think uh, kind of solidified your championship or, you know, was the biggest throughout? One play. Uh, probably, okay, so the in the Pavin game, it was like a third and seven. Uh, and um, I I don't know. I wasn't playing great offense. I was, like, moving the ball, but it was hard to sustain a drive, you know? And then he gave up the fade to go up where I got up seven to three. And um, just getting, like, a big play where I didn't have to, you know, work for it the whole time was huge. So mm-hmm. I feel like that's the biggest play yeah. uh, of the tournament. And then... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that. Yeah, but now that's kind of the chess match of playing man coverage versus trips is that it's either, you know, you got to worry about the deep post, right? But then you put them on a fade and caught them without a, a deep blue mm-hmm. out there on that side. So that was a good, yeah. good play call. And that's the, that's I mean, the right play call at the right time, so to speak. Yeah, that was definitely, uh, every time you get a free touchdown, definitely mm-hmm. a weight off your shoulder and a breath of fresh air now i ask you now i am a big feeling guy like if i won this much money with rich gannon he would be my quarterback for life right and as skimbo my friend is the complete opposite he has no ties to any player now where are you on that scale are you like in love with rich gannon now your favorite card ever are you going to like have ties with these guys for the rest of your life or how what is your level of that uh I'll always love Rich Gannon, but like it's, in terms of cards, like you, I know you always use like the Pat Pete, right? Like yeah. if Rich Gannon comes out, if he's not the best, I'm not going to use him probably. Mm. But mm. Uh, yeah, I, someone in the nappy says like buy a Gannon jersey, that that'll probably happen because I mean he's he's a legend. He was making all the throws. I gotta. I mean he he was absolutely on steroids for you. I, I he was <laughs> he was cracked. I mean dashing that eye. Rich Gannon had the built-in dashing for you. Now, oh. I thought you could grab, you could go to NFL uh, network or NFL shop 
and get the customized lions and just put number 12 and put Gannon on the back. That would be pretty cool. Nobody that else would, would have that, you know, and then people say, why the hell do you got a Gannon jersey? And you could always tell the story, such and such yeah. one this for me. So I thought that would be a dope idea. That's something I would do. Every quarterback I used actually played for the Eagles, though, between Vic and Cunningham and McNabb. They, they all played mm-hmm. for the Eagles. You know, I got, like I said, big heart guy. I'm a big football fan, <laughs> you know. But uh, so you're yeah. not so you're not really tied to any of these guys going forward. Um, nah, uh, I used I, yeah. I used to be tied to like Austin Eckler. That was my guy in Madden, but it, it died down after. Uh, now talk, he, he just, yeah, t- talk about the talk about the the Lions thing. Like what, what what's up with the Lions? I know you're you're a, a New England guy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how do we get to the Lions? Like you live in the territory uh, of the best team in, in the last twenty yeah. years, and now you're a Lions fan. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. I like all the Boston sports, but for some reason, like football wise, I just I was never that into the Patriots, and it was kind of because my family weren't weren't that into football. Mm-hmm. Um, but I started playing fantasy football, and I had the the Stafford Calvin stack, so I had to watch Ooh. the game. And they were like, that was that was my team, so okay. I just started watching. And, yeah, I always yeah. like to double up in fantasy. That's always the uh, the the glitch in fantasy to double up. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you, so you became a, a Lions fan. Um, so on a side note, how do we feel about this Lions, this Stafford thing? Well, what's our thoughts oh, on that? Okay. The, I'm happy for – Stafford's like my favorite athlete in in any sport just because I've gotten to watch him play quarterback for my team for so long. So, like, to see him, I, I just want to see him do well. And obviously that's not going to happen in Detroit anytime soon. So I, I – and I love uh, – the like, I, I love Sean McVay. I, I love the Rams, so – I think it'll be super fun, and then I can root for them in case the Lions suck, or so, when the Lions probably uh, suck. So you got a little backup team, so you think that they might be a favorite in NFC next year? I feel like the NFC is kind of wide uh, open. Yeah, I definitely would be. Um, but, I mean, it's got to be the – I don't know. It, it really depends on free agency. Like, the Bucks are losing so many people. Yeah, I feel like the Bucks are going to wind up being like uh, LeBron's team where they pretty much get any of the, the older veteran players – come and play for them and like like Gronk, Antonio yeah. Brown and LaShawn McCoy. Not that they did too much, you know, Gronk did, but the rest of them did enough. Uh so all right, now I wanna are we gonna are we gonna now we're 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 pretty well off especially how old are you now? Like nineteen? Twenty. Twenty. Twenty years old. You got this two hundred K and are we gonna get a haircut? Are we gonna keep rocking the eight year old? How long is the eight year old gonna fly? Because I brought up the eight year old like three years ago and we still rocking it. Are we gonna transition? Uh, the haircut. Well, I don't know. I get a lot of haircuts, and then you just always say it's the eight-year-old. Did you so get I, I don't. Old? I don't try to go out of my way to get the eight-year-old, but I <laughs> am getting a haircut on Thursday. So okay. We'll Are we going with like a comb over, a little gel? I, I feel like you're not a big product um, guy. You're not a big product guy. Nah, I I hate having stuff in my hair, so that that's probably why it ends up being the eight-year-old. Now but, I, uh, I will tell you the biggest uh, moment of the club championship. We had a prop bet. During you and Pavin, who would touch their head and face the most in the first quarter? And I'll tell you, you reached about 40 touches of the face and hair area <laughs> during the first quarter. And you had a late rally, too. Pavin was beating you by five with, like, 30 seconds left. And you went <laughs> crazy with the with the hair and the chin and all that. So so talk about that. Uh, the, do you even notice that? Uh, I notice it because people tell me it. But, like, it's just, I don't know if it's, like, nerves or what, but some reason i even do it when i'm just playing like pack practice games just like touch my face mm-hmm. i don't know if it's like a reset button thing i don't know but it works so i'm not gonna like yeah I, every, everybody seems to do something uh just i guess it's like a rhythm or just keep yourself in, in a momentum or thinking and yeah. like you said a, a nervous or anxiety type of twitch i always try to lean back in my chair after every play like you lock in and then lean back or something yeah. like that now the chat does want to know and Black Madden wants to know because there was a conspiracy. Who labbed with Kev? That's what we want to know going into his game because there's been a lot of conspiracy that y'all left him out to dry in his game against Poison because he did not look TNC ready for that game. Well, did you have any input in his game plan going into that Poison game? Uh, Yeah, I mean, we all did. I, I just think it was like a, the time that he had to play. Like literally anybody in bunch would have would have lost just because of – you, you had to use, like, Adrian Peterson, a receiver. It, it was just, honestly, like, the timing could not have been worse for that game. And it was 4-1 steps versus, like, just no routes that could get open. I don't know. That's that's kind of what I would 
I yeah, would so, say. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So bunch, do you think it's been improved? And when we talk about bunch being improved, let's talk about this patch that happened five days before you played. Did it affect you at all? Uh, it. I guess it like changed. A few, it didn't really change the way people because everybody's trying man pretty much, and it didn't really change that. Except I guess the. I put mid in elite on my tight end to like help the crosser get open, and uh, I don't know if that like really affected it, but it like kind of helped. So no, and you bring that up. What was our abilities that we chose on on the offensive side and the defensive side for this this tournament? And did they change at all? Like you said, you made one adjustment. Uh yeah, I just I, I had at first I had an edge protector, two post ups playmaker and then like my quarterback which was just hot route and gunslinger mm -hmm. uh and then i ditched the edge protector because i knew gucci probably wasn't gonna i thought he was gonna run man uh i basically i just thought that it, the edge protector wouldn't help me until the finals so i ditched it for something that would help me beat man which was the mid and elite okay um, yeah and um, it kind of helped because it got open like a couple times in, in, in the big games but it wasn't all right, now I uh, ask you this: uh, What about defense? What was the abilities you went with? How many one steps did you have? I felt like everybody had a little star under their feet in your secondary. Three, three one steps, and then Eric Allen just had acrobat, and the the two corners had acrobat too. So like, um, okay. yeah, I mean Justin Reed with one step. He, I guess, I think I added him too. Yeah, so Justin Reed came up came out after that first week, and then we added him. Yeah. Now he, you didn't he made. Put you didn't put acrobat on justin reed did you he was just one nah, step. he'd be five ap it's just too much on the safety yeah 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 okay so we the three one steps and the uh whatchamacallit an acrobat now what do you think about man coverage there's been a discussion throughout the madden year what do you think about i say i feel like you are like the elite of the elite passers what is your opinion on man coverage being this good and i mean in the uh, game i hate i think man is terrible like i think the man meta is terrible i know you're gonna disagree with me on that but um, I guess, I don't know, there's two different ways to look at it. Like, it makes defense really easy. A bad player is not going to score, but at the same time, it's inherently random because uh, the way man works, especially like the press, and the press is becoming the meta now too. Um, there's stuff that'll just have like a get open game, and I don't know. I, I don't think, depending on like random, uh, random rng for like a majority of the offensive plays are is, is good yeah but. i mean well this is my argument is that we saw earl versus man covers not to dump on earl right we know we don't like to dump on earl too much on the show we saw evil low against man coverage right and then we saw ghost we saw you we saw fancy play against man coverage and i think that is the difference and you know great players and good players and i think i i really think that's an obvious uh, comparison, you know, and I think that's why I enjoy. Not, I'm not gonna say I enjoy man coverage, but I'm not adamantly against it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that makes sense. And I definitely saw that, like, as the tournament played out, because there were people that just you went into the game and you knew they weren't going to be man coverage, and the game was just like over. So I, I understand that. I just think because of how it works, it's not. Um, I don't know. You have to do uh, like so much just to beat man that yeah all right and, and this is the the best man beater is the playmaker and that was pretty much your a uh, bread and butter i mean i feel like every play you ran against man was okay you're gonna have one route to guard or you're gonna guard the playmaker one i, I pretty much that was your entire game plan against man coverage right yeah yeah, so what do, I, I take you as a pure, pure, a purest passer. I've always thought playmaker was for the, uh, you know, the, the lesser passers, but I feel like this year it's kind of like you need that to really beat man coverage. And what is your opinion on playmaker in yeah. general and this year? I mean, I don't know. I I think it's fun. I, I had never really tried to like learn it, uh, mm -hmm. but Fancy put me onto it because we were playing and like no route got open versus shaded down man. He was like, you need playmaker. So I. Used, I started using it, and he was really he was way better than with, than me uh, with it at first. Uh, but like, just practiced it. Um, in terms of like in the game, I, I feel like like I said, like you need it because there there is no route underneath that is going to get open if you don't have a playmaker. Yeah. Uh, so 
For sure. Now that that's something I always said. When you first use it, you suck at it, and you say this is a waste of cap. Like this is a waste for me. I'm not using it that much. But once you learn how to how to you know use it, yeah. you realize you know this is <laughs> this is worth eight cap really. I don't think I think it's yeah. worth more than anything on my field. Yeah. No. That's at first I was playing people. I was playing like Decroft. I would I would or like fancy, and I would just throw picks because my playmakers wouldn't get open, and mm -hmm. uh, they they told me I wasn't a playmaker, but. You uh, learned, eventually, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You definitely, definitely. Uh, you definitely went down there and you uh, had, you know, that was you were the best playmaker maker in the field for the most part. Uh, now, I, so what's up? So you say you're doing homework. So what's the schedule now? But you said you took a, a semester off of college. Are you back at it now? Yeah, I took last semester off. So like, I started again mid January. So like the whole tournament or the whole final thirty two, I had school, which is rough, uh, but um i don't know i haven't like it was a good time it was the early part so i didn't have to do that much but now i have like two tests this week it's okay. a struggle okay so so when did you sign up for this college tournament so were you like off when you signed up for the next level college tournament yeah i had to get approved so i emailed them and um i was like i'm taking this blah, blah, blah. this is my gpa like all those you had to send in a bunch of stuff and then uh they approved it Okay, okay. Now, you did win all these tournaments. Is there anything, like, on your mind that you want to go buy right away? Or are you like, hey, I'm going to go spend some money right away? Is that is that on your to-do list? Not really. I, I spend money on, like, food. Uh, I have to pay rent, but, like, really not not much that I want to buy. I guess, honestly, I want to buy the Gannon jersey, uh, maybe some Stafford stuff, just, like, I don't know. All right, we we're it's talking like, about like some significant stuff, you know, like are we going to get like a, like a Mercedes or something or are we going to get like a Hummer or what what's like your what's like your go like if you had a dream car right now, what would be your dream car? Uh, oh, what's it called? Hold on. See? That's is what I'm asking. See, now you know. Now you got something you you could be cop. Uh, I guess it'd be the like the Wraith with like the the lights in the ceiling so it looks like stars, but that's a lot more than anything I've made yet, so a rifle with, so you're gonna get stars on the ceiling yeah i know a lot of like antonio brown used to have it hold on oh so you're antonio brown is that like one of your like role models or something definitely not but okay. uh i gotta find this car we gotta find now we have to find now we're just too we're too angry we're too anxious to figure out what this is i'm gonna type wraith with stars okay okay i see this okay that's like that's the dream car but like i'm never gonna i'm not i'm not gonna afford that in a long time rolls royce wraith how much is that thing 500 like, uh, that's like uh i think a little bit over 300 so okay i mean listen you get you just save up get another year boom you're in the wraith with the stars <laughs> Now we say that, uh, and that, that transitions to a question we want to talk about is like uh, being a pro Madden player. I would say you were a you know one hundred percent you know competitive player, right? Would you say that in this year, at least yeah. for your whole career, yeah. for the most part? I mean, I know you dabbled in some streaming and stuff like that, but I think your commitment was on the competitive side for sure, right? Mm -hmm. And do you think obviously you're the best player this year, and you've been you've been one of the best players for the last two years? I mean, you've been bubbling up for this moment. Um, do you think it's sustainable to to not you know just do the competitive thing for you at being the best player? Do you think that's something you can do? Not at all. I mean, like realistically, I should have made zero probably zero dollars because I should have lost. Like if I didn't get fortunate versus bugs in my second game, I would have made zero dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, just relying on stuff like that. Obviously, you don't have to play. Um, like, you could just not make the mistakes I made, like, in those games. But, like, it's it's not – I don't think it's it's safe enough to be, uh, like, a, just something you pour everything into. So, I guess that's that's what I learned. No. Well, for sure. Now, now you said Bugs. That, that had to be your toughest game of the entire tournament, Those, those that series. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I should have. I should have lost. Honestly, like the second game. Yeah. Uh, the uh, one of the, the twenty-two player. The twenty-two play drive. Uh, put it together. That's. I mean, you don't want to have a twenty-two play drive. That's all I can say. Hey, but if it results in points, it results in points. But uh, 
Now that that gives me the good thing about uh the best of three. Without the best of three, um, you don't win either of these tournaments, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you you have to be a comp- or a proponent of the best of three format going forward. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, I I'd always be in favor of the the best of three. I just I think more game and um more like a, a bigger sample size is going to get you the better player winning more of the time. The only thing and um that's kind of worrisome is like if it's if it's uh the way we're doing it now with COVID, you know, online, if you're crew you know after the first game is telling you do this do this do this like that's that's stupid um kind of like the co- a coaching aspect yeah you know? yeah uh, and it's i don't know then it's not the same as uh like it should be but if it's live and there's just you know three games in a row i feel like that's that's good that's a good format and i don't know i know a lot of people have said like the viewership uh, would be different or it wouldn't be as fun from a viewer but I, I feel like watching how people adjust through the three games well I don't this, know this is the downside okay so next level next had the three the round the, the best of three right you played Noah I, I would argue you and Noah are both really good players of man right would you argue mm-hmm. that yeah so I, I feel I like argue. I feel like you guys could play games I could watch you guys play all day and you guys would have battles every single game that, that's just how I feel. I don't know, man. And uh, obviously, you guys played and got to the third game. It was super exciting. I'm glad I was able to watch. I was glad I was able to watch all three games, right? That, w- that was cool. Every other matchup was a sweep and two boring games, right? And it's like this. Like, uh, for me, it's like, okay, let me watch J-Wall beat the shit out of somebody twice. You know, like how long am I gonna watch that? That's pretty much how 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 I feel about it. You know, the best ca- the best case scenario of the best of three is is a single elimination game. The worst case scenario is two boring games. All all of my all of mine went to game three. Noah Noah dominated people, uh, but every every all of mine went to three games. So. You went to three games, all of them. I maybe mean, I was thinking about Prod. I was oh I called Prodigy versus Noah when I thought it would be good. And it was rough. It was rough. Yeah. 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 So for nah. me, honestly, I, I the best, like I said, best case scenario is a single elimination game, right? For anybody, really. well, not for anybody. It's just the best case scenario, obviously, is the one too. But for everybody watching, and for everybody calling the game, and everybody sponsoring the game, and everybody putting any type of stock into the event, for me, the best case scenario for them is a single elimination game three. Just like, just like basketball, you know, we want to see LeBron versus the Warriors in Game Seven. That was the best basketball game in the last fifteen years, or whatever. You know, so for me, that that's pretty much my argument for it. You know, I, I want to see the uh, do it all on the line, and uh, that that's what's exciting for me. But for you, the best player in the world, you you benefited from the best of three because you came out on top of these series all the time. So I think for you know the best players. Obviously, you'll always want a best of three, but that's how many people? 20 people uh, in the world, you know? So it's like that, that that's where I uh, i think the single elimination will always be the best. Yeah, no, I, I think that, that makes sense. All right, um, what else to say? Now, we go back to the uh, the being a pro man player. Is there any, is there any, what do you want to use this to transition? Do you want to have a career in gaming? Do you want to have, what is your goal as a man player, have you thought about this? Uh, you're still super young, and and you know this is your super payday. Have you put any thought about like, what is your goal in gaming? Uh, honestly, no. Like I, I have thought about it, but I am not decided. I I still think the, like the main thing is I do it because it's fun, and then this stuff is just like it's the added benefit, and mm-hmm. I put a lot of time into it. But in general, I don't think I'd want to. Like do it full time. It's just it's too stressful and um like doing it full time the first semester and not having anything else. I just I feel like it like it put me in a just a bad like mental state. Whereas I could have um other things I could rely on. Like just being reliant on Madden for everything is too stressful for me. Okay. Okay. Now I will ask you this: How, What is the TNC um 
you know, kind of, you know, application? What is that like? How do people, how do people join TNC? I feel like you guys made a huge acquisition of about 15 people in the off season. Like what is the process in that? Uh, a lot of them were, we were just basically already playing together. We hadn't, uh, what do you call it? We hadn't just officially made it. Like we were already playing with Blocky, George, Spoto, Golden, everybody was already playing together. Um, and then we're like, let's make this official. It makes content easier. It makes making this TNC thing easier. Um, and like working together. So, uh, yeah, we also did do applications. We didn't end up taking anyone from the actual applications, but uh, mostly it's just like, it's our friends. That's that's really what it is. Yeah, for sure. Now, uh, I will ask you uh, the Madden Challenge. Are you excited about this Madden Classic, Madden Challenge, these new tournaments come up? What is your thought yeah. process? When it was announced, there was a lot of backlash amongst everybody uh, the first day or so. Have you given it any thought? Do you have any strong opinions on these four tournaments coming up uh, for us to play in the next couple months? Um, I don't know. Like, I'm excited for it. The, the format sucks. The money's not very good, but... I mean, I'll I'll still try to like do as well as I can in it, you know. Um, it, it is frustrating though, just to see that it's not like a. In terms of you know wanting to make it a full lifestyle or a full time job and having only like really one tournament that gets you t to the money to have a full time job is is frustrating. Yeah, I mean, what do you think would be? I mean, you've clearly made five times the salary this last month so mm -hmm. um what do you think would make it oh this is worth it for me to, to just play madden competitively uh i don't know i i don't think it's like it's really is not a number for me money wise it's just uh like i said like i don't know i don't think i'd ever want to do it full, oh that's not true but i probably wouldn't want to do it full time uh but i know there's a lot of people that if it was just you know, um, I don't know. I don't know the numbers. Honestly, that's tough for me. But yeah, it's mean, not. It's not there. Right now. You have to make like final eight of clubs to do like decently well, and that's really that's that's really we want to do it. And that's tough. That's tough. But you, every, I feel like every Madden player that you know just grinds competitive knows that. I don't think anybody's yeah. surprised by that. You know, I don't think that's a surprising thing. And with, with the uh, the numbers, uh, this is the worst I've seen competitive Madden as far as numbers. I felt like you and Derwin was popping. I was I was locked into the Derwin thing. It was kind of popping. But uh, Club Series, I think on Twitch, uh, the highest I saw it was 9,000 people. Uh, yeah. And for that, and to turn around and say we want more money when the production isn't getting, you know, the, the views to produce that, uh, it's, it's going to be rough. So I think yeah, as a competitive I, player, you you need to know that, you know what, this might not be the best angle. You can still take it, but it's a huge risk involved, right? No, I, yeah, no, I agree. The numbers have to be there. I Also, though, to be fair, like there is at least probably 3,000 people in like the watch parties so that those weren't happening as much over the yeah. last tournament. So you have to think Yeah, for sure. It's almost as if, j -Wall, that EA should pay us to promote their tournament you know, and yes. not do watch parties, right? That way they get an extra 3,000 people in their telecast, and then they can go ahead and charge more for their sponsors. That would be a great idea from EA. But until then, you know, we're going to go ahead and enjoy it uh, amongst the real Twitch members here in the chat, you know. But that's uh, that's their problem, you know. So we'll see for uh, sure. All right. So, uh, I mean, are you a fan? All right, you had to pick one mode. Are you picking... Draft champions, or are you picking um, regs? Regs, I think. They're playing with like the the terrible QBs, and just in general, I feel like DC is really bad on this game. Uh, yeah. I, so I guess I got to go regs. Right there to see now. Uh, now I played regs yesterday, and I I tried to play with the Chiefs uh, uh, with, as a regs. Uh, aficionado like yourself is is the Packers the number one way to go? Is it is it undisputed? Uh, I don't know. I, I think uh, the Chiefs are really good, but you kind of have to play like an idiot, and that's that's not always the best way to play. Um, the Packers are just so they're so well rounded. Like they have the fastest defense, best quarterback. They got uh, two guys that are really good versus man. 
So I, I like I probably will use the Packers, but I don't know. The Chiefs have Tyreek Hill and Mahomes can get Bazooka. So like, uh, and they got Kittle. He, I feel like Kittle's a dog. Is he not? Like, I, oh yeah, Kelsey. Same. You know, the, the tight end. It's Kelsey. Yeah, Kelsey. I feel like he's a dog. You know, but I just feel like once they start blitzing the hell out of me, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Oh, too. Like, cut, you, get you can't cut block. You can't cut block and roll out the same way this year. It's like he's too slow on the escape artist. And, and throwing like with Mahomes versus the blitz, it's slow to get the ball out, and the ball gets there slow. So the the flats are getting way less yards. Like all that is just worse. Yeah, so it's it's tough. I feel like for bunch, I mean, I feel like you got to, like you said, run the bunch tight end, scramble around like a chicken with your head cut off, chuck the ball down the field type of play style. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not good at that. Uh, then And that goes like playmaker. If you're not good at it right away, you feel like it's not worth it. But if you take the time mm-hmm. to master it, okay, now Mahomes is, you know, I'm cracking with Mahomes now. Yeah, I'm throwing a touchdown every play. Uh-huh. Um, so so are, during... This Madden Classic Mountain Challenge, are we going to still be 60% Madden or are we, going to t- are we going to tail off a little bit and lock in on school? Uh, realistically, it probably can't be 60% Madden because, like, I want to, I don't know. I feel like I've, like, I've put so much time into it and I have a lot of school stuff and I'm going to have a lot of work, but uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll be good. I'll, I'll have enough time and I hope. But okay. we, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So are, are the goggles or the, the shades going to be the official J wall look now? I think, bro, I think you can, I think you could take this look far, you know, get, get a nice yeah. haircut, you know, Thursday, the haircut day Thursday. with the shades might be, it might be selfie time. Yeah. I, I need, I don't know. I need like inspiration for the haircut. Cause it, I clearly am not getting the right one. If I just keep ending up with, with the eight year old. Yeah. You keep ending up yeah. with the eight year old. Now, I wouldn't do now. This is what Wesley does. He takes Kiv's picture to the uh, to the hair salon and says, "Can I have that?" And it doesn't work well for him. You know, I, I you know I would you know I go with some. Uh, Skimbo says the buzz. I say the baldy. But you know, listen. I, as a man that has zero options for hair anymore, I would say you know freestyle a bunch of hairstyles. You know, next Thursday you might go with the comb over. If you don't like that, you can always change it in two weeks. That's the beauty of the position you're in right now. Your hair is is endless possibilities. I only have one possibility. The D Croft, mm-hmm. not a bad hairstyle. A little more military type hairstyle, you know. But I feel like I basically have that. I basically have the the D Croft. It's just a little bit longer. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, you'll get there. Don't worry. You won't listen. You won't get there. Somebody somebody's gonna open your open your mind. See, I'm trying. I'm trying. But see, you don't. Know, you're not picking up what I'm putting down. But you know, you'll get there. No, I'm not one day. Like, go look at like David Beckham or somebody like that. What's what hairstyle does David Beckham have? You know, David Beckham's not walking around with the eight year old, right? Come on. That's true. So hey, Tom Brady. Does Tom Brady have the eight year old? The greatest Doesn't. of all time. He has some smooth comb over type of you know small soldier type of haircut. You know, there you go. He's also like he's also like forty though. So. I mean, listen, listen, men, let me tell you something, young men always get better looking as they get older. Women tra- start to tail off. You're only going to get better looking. I'll tell you that now. When you, don't, don't let women tell you otherwise. All right, young fella, only going to get better. What? All right, man. Is there any questions the chat have for the champ? Or is there anything you want to? I do want to talk about where can we get this ebook? Because I can't lie. I was playing regs. I need the trips tight end ebook. Uh, it is on acemadden.com. We're going to be updating it uh, pretty soon with all the playmaker stuff, um, like within like two weeks. So that's all not right. in there yet. But well, for me, as a regs guy right now, I need to go ahead and, and I'll be cool with what it, what's on it right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'll put it in the chat right here. TikToks. Yes. When is the next TikTok? Uh, I feel like the next TikTok, I don't know. I'm kind of off making TikToks, but a TikTok with like the belt would be pretty cool. Okay, how I don't, about I don't... like you know how they do like the wipe on thing? Like you could have no belt and then wipe on and then have the belt on with the shades and the new haircut. Boom. There, oh, there. the new haircut. Yeah. I gotta do, but then I do the best. Uh, I gotta do the other part before, like without the haircut. You know? Yeah. See, just put some thought into it. Yeah, that that's that's good. That's really I'm, good. I'm, that's a great idea. You know, I was kind of off TikToks because 
you know, Trump told me that it was China trying to watch in on us. I, that's what I heard. You know, and that, now I, it's kind of not going away. And I'm kind of salty that I wasn't grinding TikTok videos. You know, my TikTok was kind of popping. And I was like, you know, this might really be China coming to get us or something. So I was a little afraid. And, uh, you know, so I stopped. But I think we got to get back on the TikToks. Um, like I said, you do the wipe on, wipe off. You have the belt on with the shades. The shades, you're locked in on the shades now. I think it's too late to go back. Uh, I like them. I like these. I like the clear, uh, the clear frames. It's... I think it might be the look. Just ah. need a just need something going up here. Now, see, see, Boogs did try to start the glasses. Did not end well for him with the glasses. But now, now it's your time to take the reins and go ahead and rock the glasses. Bring the glasses back. Nah. And I will tell you, what is the best defense for Trips tight end? Uh, I think it's the like the stuff I ran and fancy ran versus me, um, with. You know, adjusting out of man and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's, I feel like it's the same thing that's good versus everything. Like, adjust out of man, and then they they have to call bad plays. So Now, I, now this advantage. is what happens to me. How do you, like, when I run through 3-5 man coverage, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Right, there's only one person on the tight end side, right? And you man him up on the tight end. Who the hell guards the running back? That's uh, the problem well, you can have. Well, I mean, if they motion over, you could start flatting that corner. You know? Oh yeah, okay, over. for sure. Um, but I mean, if they if they send out the running back, you also could start blitzing. I don't know. You could that, start blitzing. Yo, that's probably that's my biggest problem. And you know what pisses me off the most, Clint? I hope you're watching, cause you know I think oh, I'm Rex man. Ryan. Yeah, I'm like, all right, let me put Lawrence Taylor or Sam Mills on a running back, and all of a sudden now they're, now my one steps guarding the running back table route, and and, and Darren Waller's running a, a 50 yard crossing route wide open. You know that is what kills me. You know, so that is why I that's what I have the biggest problem out when I run the man coverage against it. And uh, yeah, I love when they don't put out the running back. So if you're in trips and you're struggling against the 3-3-5, three, three, two men under, use the running back because he's a pain in the ass. I feel like I always have to guard him, uh, and people don't use him enough. That's how I feel. What? Yeah. All right, so Mr. 200. Now, how, what's our total number that we've won this year? you got to have the number in your head, right? It's not uh, 200K unless you – right? Because you got it's... 150, then 25 from the whatchamacallit, right? Yeah, and then I don't the know what the other. What was the mud head? head? That was five. So we're at one eighty. And then I don't know, like FNFs and nights okay. and stuff. But we're two hundred then. So we're two hundred. Yeah. Yeah, we're two hundred. Round up, round up. Yeah, exactly. We're two hundred thousand. Um, I think you've uh, supplemented your competitive Madden gaming career for uh, the next couple years, so to speak. You know, uh, I will say as an old man. That once won money, um, I would open the LLC tomorrow. I would do that, get a business, um, go to um, whoever, TurboTax, or go to, uh, I went to LegalZoom, open the TNC LLC. That way you don't get super hammered on taxes and you can write off more stuff for business uh, business things. That is the best advice I can give you as a young man that just won a lot of money. Yeah, that's I've heard that so far too, so thank you. Yes, I, I tell all my friends to do that, that uh, that go ahead and, um, because, you know, that, that, that's what the haters will say. Well, after taxes, he only makes 80 th It's not that true, dude. Just get a business. You'll be all right. Buy that Wraith. I'm pretty sure you can go ahead and put, like, you know, put a something down, get the Wraith with the stars. Boom. There you go. And you can be the man. That, and with your shades. That one's, that one's pretty far down the road. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, another year like this, and you'll be whipping a wraith. Now, what are we in school for? What's our goal here? Uh, math and econ is my major, and then eventually, I think I want to work in like, uh, like analytics for uh, preferably an NFL team. Um, building, okay. you know, models like free agency, the draft, etc. So, are you and like that's a, still, are, you, are you an analytic nerd? Yeah, kind of. Um, okay. But that's still, that's still a long ways off. So we'll see what what happens. Now, were you a football? Did you play any football? I know you're a big hooper. Did you play any football? Uh, I played middle school football. Okay. Um, I was kind of nice. I had a pick once. <laughs> okay. So That's not bad. Just, just, yeah. Okay. There you go. So, analytic J Wall. There it is, man. Chat, do we have any more questions for the $200,000 man? 
There it is. See, they're going to ask some nasty. See, the chat is going to ask some yeah. nasty. See, Jay Wall thinks the chat hates him. Before we got on here, see, now, why do you think the chat hates you? Uh, Cause I just I, I'm a troll. Like I just say stuff, and then they they think I'm just like the worst person ever. And I don't really care, but uh, mm -hmm. um, I just I think it's funny. Yeah, I mean oh, I don't know why I I feel like the chat hates everybody. Everybody, I that's all listen what I say. This is how I feel like Madden is. When y'all don't say shit, oh, these guys are boring. They have no personality. Soon as they start saying anything, oh, this guy's a prick. Get him out of here. Oh, I hate this douche. That's how it works. There is no in between. You're either the most boring person with no personality or you're a prick. One way or the other. Yeah. And I, I guess you've you've transferred into the uh the prick side of that that yeah. that that uh you know hemisphere. Yeah, no, definitely. Like if, if you just if you say anything, if you get excited about winning, um like even D D Cross, like he he doesn't say anything about his opponent. He just gets excited about winning, and they're like, "Oh, look at this, look at this dude." I don't know. <laughs> the D Croft is a special guy, man, for sure. He definitely is a high intensity. High intensity is the word, and and somebody that got cheated probably the most in this tournament. Um, would you agree with that? Yeah, I think he kind of got cheated the most. And he didn't complain a, a bit about it, right? He didn't complain. He didn't, uh, Clint, you suck, blah, blah, blah. The game is terrible, right? Um, for me, I've always uh, admired that about Madden players. I feel like when you get cheated and then you take the upper road, it, it, it's a good character uh, trait, so to speak. And I, I took that away from Decroft, who got cheated the most, I thought. Yeah, no, I definitely... I think a lot of people like get upset and I don't know, especially it's just not going to get you anywhere. Just getting mad at like the game uh, in Madden or just like mentally. So yeah. I, I admire that, that he did that too. All right. So the chat says ass or titties. Are you an ass man or a titty man? Uh, ass. An ass man. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Up there. I, that's not, I don't know if there's that many guys up there in, in Rhode Island. That are ass men. Okay, there you go. Rhode Island specialist. Uh, yeah, no, footballs are definitely a personality guy. That's what we'll, we'll go with. No, Mr. Football. Yeah, Mr. Football. He's like a he's like a you know a, a dollar store throne type of vibe. That that's that's what the chat got from him. They hated him. I'll be honest. Of all, everybody in the tournament, they probably hated him the most. You know. So. Yeah, 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 maybe. And the chat, I don't the know chat. why. I I mean I don't know. He's just he's. He just talks like well i mean i've always been a man when you're down by 24 points just shut the fuck up right that's, that, how I that's feel, all right yeah, right that's all come on man you know it's like, it's like what are you gonna do you know like, get out of there right it's time to get out of here you know but he mm -hmm. he was he was starting his market now now people remember him that's the guy that was getting beat by 24 and he was still yelling and screaming right so who knows yeah. maybe he's playing checkers and not chess who knows? Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I, I I wouldn't say you were the most hated person, but uh, I guess you're on the prick list from the. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I probably won't get to the. They hate joke. Like just anything oh, yeah. he does, no matter. They just they go at. So I probably can't. You, get... you might be the joke of TNC. Uh, I you know. said that. That's what I heard. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I didn't... yeah. You. I mean. I, I see. I'm, I don't. You know. You're not a negative social media person like joke, but I mean the chat, the, the chat, chat. Is, the chat kind of against you. They kind of don't like you, but I mean the the you build some positive vibes and momentum. It's not that hard to get away from the joke vibes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not yeah, that yeah. hard. Just, you know what? You know what you got to do. You have to supplement your complaining. I feel like that's what joke doesn't do. He doesn't supplement his complaining with positivity all right mm -hmm. if you're to only complain it doesn't hold power but if you supplement it with positivity then you pop the complaint now the complaint is a lot more uh a lot more p powerful so to speak so always, always supplement wheel. yes grease the wheel exactly you got to go ahead and grease the wheel supplement your complaints when you have them uh, so to speak really yeah, we didn't like how he said he would never lose to a personal trainer. Now I understand that. What what it means is I wouldn't I wouldn't lose to somebody that doesn't, you know, put as much effort as, as I do in the yeah. game. Pretty much is what it means, right? Like somebody that has a whole other job, right? Any job, and it it, it would 
it had nothing to do with personal trainers. Like it could have been a doctor or literally anything, but I don't know. I understand that one. Like that was, I, I understand that they didn't like that. Uh, but yeah, you might hate, you might hate personal trainers. Who knows? I, I promise I don't. I, yeah. I promise. No, but I understand it. Like you never want to lose to a mechanic or a bus driver. I've lost to a lot of mechanics and bus drivers. Personally, I think they're kind of tough. They play out of the box. It's a little bit surprising me sometimes that you were able to beat the personal trainer and a lot of other people from professional man players to professional uh, janitors or whatever, everybody plays. So John Beast will be back. <sighs> All right. So what's the next step for the TNC boys? Just I don't know. I want I want to see everybody win. That's if if I'm not winning, I want to see my friends win. So mm -hmm. hopefully everybody can experience, you know, just getting to the and and winning a tournament. And I don't know. I guess that's that's really it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I I also like just move, maybe civil's really done the best, but like m maybe doing better with making content because the. The competitive stuff is just so random and hard to um i mean you know, it's, count it's, it's the most fun though you know that it the, is let me tell you, the content part it's not that much fun dude the the, the contournaments all that is definitely the most fun and that's a good question would you have kicked three in earl's situation no no oh no 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 you wouldn't have i think three? who cares like if you do that, you're just like you. You're almost admitting defeat to the Twitch chat that you had to kick three because they would have just gotten in your head and and just eaten you. So like, but in hindsight, uh, that zero was strong. It is, but I don't know. You gotta go for seven. You got to <laughs> like. Just no, I'm never kicking three there. Now I'll ask you this: um, Would you ever run the clock out on yourself? When you were getting, when the game was over, like if you're getting popped, would you take a knee on yourself? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I would. Like, I, I don't really mind if someone did. Like, I know, I know George ended up doing that in his game, but uh, I don't know if I would. If I, if it was really bad and I was just like so defeated, yeah. But if it's like decently close, like the Niner one wasn't terrible, but like last year I lost an MCS game to Pycam by like 40 points. Yeah. That one was bored. That one borderline, like, I'm, I'm kneeing the ball out. Yeah. Now, I always oh, said well, I, guess I wouldn't do it until I was in that yeah. position of getting blurred, and I was like, yo, I got to get out of here. And it was the worst. Now, Journey, he blurred me, right? And uh, do you, when you're playing a game, right, do you ever have, like, that sportsmanship where, like, you know, I'm up by 17, there's two minutes left. Do I keep passing or do I run the clock out? Do you have that thought in your mind when you're playing? Uh, Not really. I mean... I'd probably just run the clock out because it's, you know, you want to just finish the game, don't get screwed. But it's not sportsmanship. Like, if if there's like four minutes left, I'm still gonna try to score points and keep yeah. going. Okay. Yeah. Cause I remember Jenny, he do a bomb on me with like three minutes left and he was up like 20 points. And I, I mean, you know, I, I was a little salty, but I was salty cause I was losing and I was going home and ultimate league was over. Uh, but he did go up top with four, like yeah. three minutes left and he was up 20 and I was like, okay, this is a, a little rough, so, you know, but I, I always said I would never run the clock out on myself until you get in that position and you're like, damn, I just want this four minutes to go away so fast. I don't know. I like sportsmanship when you're competing. I mean, there's, it's important, but like, if you're just if you're playing the game and you just play the game, I don't know. I think that's that's kind of overrated. It's it's like a uh, what's his name, the 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 Grand Slam, all the controversy last year. I don't even know what his name is. It's baseball, but yeah, it's overrated. No, hey. Now has the interest at college from the the females increased in the last six days or so? Uh, I have a girlfriend, so no. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, is this is this a is this a um serious uh girlfriend? Is this like how how long are we talking here? Um, it'll be a year and thirteen days, so Okay. Like, decently serious. Decently serious? Does she go to school with you or is she from home? Does yeah. she go to another school? Yes. She goes to school with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Girl reveal? The chat wants pictures of the girl. Is that something we're going to do today? Not today, but... Oh, my gosh. Sometime. 
ask him what's up break up you know i i you know i i she was with you before you were the man right she was with you when you were losing and you weren't winning championships so that's got to be a, a good you know good attribute to her corner you know i feel like she's been with you for a while now you can't get rid of her uh no no aspirations to get rid of her either so yeah, he seems but, happy he seems like a happy guy um, listen, everybody says Madden players are virgins. They're, they don't get hope. The J wall is halfway to being married. You know, that, 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 listen, there's this guy named Jesse who's in my chat a lot. You know, he, he's been with this first girl that touched his penis since forever and he's a happy guy. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with settling down at an early age, you know? So, uh, I think, you know, wish you the best with that. Don't let the chat get to you, you know, cause the chat always wants you to be an asshole. Let me tell you that the chat always wants you to be an asshole. No matter what happens, they'll root for asshole. That's their pick. You know? That's no, I've had a lot of push. It's actually, it's, it's surprising. I've had a lot of pushback on the, on the relationship in the man community lately. They're all, they all want me to, I don't know. They're, they just, they, everyone has trust issues. They're all uh, no. against no. it. The trust issues would happen if a new girl popped up it, right now. The fact she's been here this long, you know, she's solid. That, that's a credit to her. And don't let, listen, don't let, listen, I, I was in high school. I'm a little bit younger than you. And I had a great girl, right? This was the best girl. Listen, her, her family was pretty well off. You know, so they would take us on dates. Like, we would go with her mom, and then they would, you know, buy us a table at the restaurant and, and you know, just pay for our dinner and everything. And she was a great relationship. Beautiful girl, right? And you know what I did? I listened to my scumbag friends. You know, at that time, it was my scumbag friends on the corner. Now, for you, it's these scumbag guys in the Discord. And they said, leave her, man. You got to hang out with us, man. That's, the relationship is corny. And I look back on it. Now, you know, I'm pretty well off now the last three or four years. But for the 10 years in between, I was like, man, I really should have stayed back then. You know, my friends, your friends never give you good relationship advice. I'll tell you that, man. Especially Madden friends and Twitch chat because they will always root for you to be an asshole. So, pretty much... Pay attention to what's in your heart. And if the girl is good for you, she's good for you, man. Yeah. yeah. Never listen to Skimbo either. You know, he's one of those Jesse type. Uh, his high, He's with his high school sweetheart, you know. And shout out to Skimbo. He's getting married here in a couple months. So hopefully we'll be there and we'll be able to take some pictures and stuff. So he's not a person you listen to either. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, also, they want to live vicariously through you. You know, people like Mr. Football and, and Ice... You know, they're like, what would I do if I had 200000 Oh, I would get all the hoes. That's what they think. So they want you to live that lifestyle. Maybe that lifestyle is not for you, you know? Yeah. No, there it's you go. Definitely not. See? You might live happily ever after. So that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The, the, how do, how mm -hmm. does the girl feel about you playing video games? Uh, I mean, she's pretty supportive. Like, this week, she, I don't know. She gets annoyed, obviously at some extent but i mean it's it, it's been a year and it hasn't caused any huge issues so i guess we're good there you go so everything looks good i feel like it's a positive look look george and mr football they're in the trenches see mm -hmm. so you don't trust guys in the trenches like for real when you're taking relationship advice from don't care about ice and mr football 88 I'm glad you're ignoring their advice. You know, that, that seems like a smart thing. Those You got to have guys like that in your crew. Like, we have Trey. Like, he's the doormat. And, and, and it's not a guy that gives you advice, but it's a guy that gives you advice, but you know I'm going to do the opposite of what they say, and then that will be positive. You know, you got to have that guy. And it seems like Ice is a good member of TNC for that role. That's that's K. Dillon. K. Dillon is the perfect. Anything K. Dillon says, you just, you know it's, it's probably not the right thing. You should do the opposite. Yeah, and the whole time you gas them up like, oh, that's a good idea, man. Oh, for real? What else? And then they keep telling you more dumb shit for you not to do. I'm telling you. So you got, I feel like you oh. guys got it covered over there. Oh, we also have Salty. Salty hits oh that role. Oh, my God. Perfectly. Salty. Oh. Jesus. I can't wait to see Salty's advice when he's 25, 28, 30. Jesus. Oh, shoot. 
25k well there you go man i i appreciate it man uh, is there anything else you want to talk about i put the ace man i'm going to go grab the ebook right now because my regs experience last night it might be time for trips is there anything else you want to promote you got the that you have the 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 ear of the entire madden twitch community is there anything else you want to promote uh are we gonna get some streams? I mean, I, I remember watching the J Wall streams. Like, are we gonna get some? Plan is the streams are gonna be back. I'm taking the week off from Madden to like just not play Madden, but then next week I'll be back. So I guess if you wanna follow, can I put my Twitch like absolutely like, follow me? So that's me in the chat. That's follow uh, me in the chat. That's him right there. Let me copy and paste this real quick. I, how are you partnered? Jesus. Look at that. Because I streamed a lot. <laughs> Uh, just until club started, really. There you go. We got to stay back at it. Yeah. I will tell it's you, though, man, a lot of people tell you this stuff right there at J Wall's Twitch. I already copied days, man. And I'm going to go buy the ebook the e because, I, you know what? I got to see what these guys are running. You know, and, you know, listen, even if you don't want to run trips, it's the best ebook to have just to be a defensive player. You know, I've always thought that, man, if there's information out there for you guys to, to absorb and uh, obtain, you got to do it or you're just kind of a fool for the most part. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do that. I got to get better at defending trips, guarding it, and possibly running it if we're, we're over this bunch of stuff. But, uh, yeah, so I will tell you I as will. far as Twitch, a lot of people are going to, oh, you got to start streaming. Bro, if you don't like it and, and it's not for you, that's fine. You know, don't feel pressure to do anything like that, man. But uh, I know this community will help you any way you can to continue to try to grow your brand. It's just all about what you like to do and what makes you happy for the most part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess also just like because I'm here, just also my friends, like all my TNC guys. I know we're gonna start streaming YouTube more, mm -hmm. um, and I mean just be on the lookout for that. If you follow us on Twitter, you'll see it. So yeah, make sure you follow all these TNC guys. Um, they are the best players. They're by far the best crew. Um, listen, you guys can work together too. You guys, I mean, you guys are, have the power to work together. You know, me and Skimbo, we try our best to carry Trey around, you know, and it's worked pretty good. So, you know, you and Fancy can carry Salty around or, or you know, Ice or whoever it may be, carry them around for sure. You know, and they'll, they'll, they'll do very well for that. So uh, just work together. You guys have you guys have the ear of the man community right now. You have the uh, attention. You guys have the spotlight. So just stay at it and, and keep grinding. It's uh, the best opportunity right now for you guys to go get it. You know, the the possibilities in Madden are endless for you guys. You guys are super young. I don't know what the hell I would do if I won that much money when I was, you know, 20 years old. It probably would have been bad. But uh, hopefully you have all, the, uh, all your ducks in, in a row, especially with the girlfriend. She'll keep you out of trouble for sure. Yeah, we're, we're good. All right, well, all right, but I appreciate you coming on, man. Right, is there anything else you want to talk about? Anything else you want to say, man? This, this is your platform, man. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, so can 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 we pencil you in for a boss bot wars secret boss final boss stage at some here sometime here in the summer? I I am down to be on bot wars whenever. Listen, we are uh, at a fifteen hundred dollar prize pool already. So we do a couple more, we might get up to that 3K, 5K number here. You know, that's our goal. So uh, I want Earl. I want Salty. I want the, anybody. Well, I, mean, I want them. They, Mostly, see, I, I feel like you're too good to be the gauntlet guy. You would just, like, beat them all, and it would be, like, kind of boring. I feel like you have to be the, the secret boss at the end of the show. Oh, oh! actually, I didn't say this before, but Mundo just K. Dillon would be great on Bot Warriors. It, it depends. And actually, I don't know. I, I'll have to talk to him about it. But I'll talk to him about it, and I'll let you know. So. Now, I will tell you, Kate Dillon let me down. I'm not a Kate really? Dillon fan. Um, because I was told he was a good Call of Duty player. That's what I was told. You know, they the, the community gassed him up like he was like Canes or Wink Goat or something like that. Um, and he let, let us down. He was actually pretty brutal. So uh, yeah, there. So, so for me, right. uh, I'm disappointed in him. So so I don't know if if he's on the hot the hot list there to be on the bot wars. All right. Well, I tried. So uh, see, he wasn't even better than Dollar. That's a good point. You know. So hey, Dylan, I just I just well, I was really disappointed in his chat trials for Call of Duty. Really, but we'll see. That yeah. Happened. Listen. We have probably how many more months of Madden 21? Five, six, seven months left of Madden 21. So there's going to be a lot of bot wars. Um, K. Dillon doesn't even play with sound. That's pretty nasty. See, there it is. 
But uh, what I'm going to say, so we have about seven months left of Madden. We will pencil you in to be part of Bot Wars some point down here, down the line. I have gotten a lot of inquiries from many people to be part of, part of Bot Wars. So we'll definitely pencil you in for a boss bot appearance, special boss. Uh, we might even have to give you odds and, you know, the winner take Buku money if they can beat J-Wall. We will figure it out. All right, All right. buddy. All right. Thank you for having me on. All right. I appreciate it, man. Once again, congratulations. You killed it. Uh, we're super proud of you. Like I said, it's been bubbling up. Uh, it seemed like you were right there for so many years and falling up short. Now you're able to just pop off and win a whole tournament. So congratulations. Uh, all your hard work the last couple of years uh, has really worked out, and I'm proud of you, and you're going to keep killing it. Just stay at it, buddy. Thank you. All right, Joel. Right, Thank you. There he is, man, the wall man live in 4K, boys. The legend, the best player. There it is. Oh, what? All right, chat. That was my list of questions. I hope I covered every question, you guys. I I, I hope I covered every question I thought I had. Uh, yeah. And a lot of times with these guys, you don't hear them that often. Like obviously, you guys hear me talk and are close to me every single night. So some of these competitive guys, they aren't you know on the mic or talking to you guys every single night. You know what I'm saying? The skimbo patch. That's what happened, man. All right, but that, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I did think a lot about what questions to ask the young guy. I didn't really want to do the Madden nerd thing. I really didn't. Uh, I thought asking him more questions would be a little more, a little more exciting, a little more fun, rather than you know what did you do on this third down play? That's that's I kind of want a more more um, personality from these kids because I feel like that's what uh, I don't want to say that's what we're, it, everybody has a personality it's more about can you bring the personality out really that's that's the goal and I, that's the goal and I think um, that's one of the keys for Madden events I feel like Madden uh, I feel like the more personality you see from these kids the better uh, the better the events will be really for sure I have a career in 60 minutes. Yeah, for sure. I would love to be a part of all these events to some extent. We'll see. Maybe one day. You know, it could have been fancy. And that's what I'm saying, man. All these, and that's, I hate when people say Madden players don't have, don't have personalities. It's about, can you, can, can you show the personality? Who's most likely going to wife a Karen? Earl Jesse, 95% of the skin bullets. It's Jesse. Jesse already has a Karen. You know, do we? I, I'm reaching out to Derwin right now. Where is it? All right, if I if I if I hit Derwin with the with the with the with the uh, tweet. All right, here it is. If I hit if I hit Derwin with this tweet, are you guys going to uh, farm this tweet? Are you guys going to farm this tweet for me? Farm. Here we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm an asshole for for putting the money of our our prize pool here in the uh No, but see I I do feel like I do feel like, yo, Derwin's going to say, yeah. I feel like Derwin's going to say, let's go. And then what do we do? I'm kind of overwhelmed by having Derwin on Bot Wars. I'll be honest, boy. I haven't posted it yet. I'll post it. Like, it's like, you know, I think I, 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 I honestly, that's how I feel. I feel like he says, let's go. I feel like he just tweets, let's go. I'm ready. Yeah, I feel like he's ready. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this is a 90% chance, 90% chance he's going to say, yeah, I'm with it. I'm with the shits. Then we'll figure it out. Right, boys? We'll cross that. We'll cross that. Boom. It's posted. Fuck it. Oh, somebody already retweeted. Somebody already retweeted. You guys are cracked. All right, if he says yes, he runs the gauntlet next Saturday. If not, 
If not, we're going to have a tournament, bro. We're going to have a four-person tournament, really. Clutch, you got 2K for the... Bro. There's the tweet. There's the tweet, bro. Well, Y'all can farm it. Let's see what we can do. Can we get Derwin? Can we get Derwin? <clears throat> Derwin might be cracked. That new card. I don't know how to get that new card, boys. How do we get that new card? Now, let's talk about the bracket challenge. Let's talk about the bracket challenge, right, boys? Training only? Nice, nice, nice. Let's talk about the bracket challenge. I think my man, I think it was Limitless, had like the 99 overall bracket. Now, I don't know. I, and, and, and most of the time, I'll be honest, most of the time people have brackets and, and I do the bracket challenge and nobody has a good bracket, right? So I, nobody ever wins shit from the bracket. I'll be honest. Nobody ever wins. I've never had anybody win shit from the bracket because all you guys suck at the bracket. I'll be honest. Now here comes this asshole who picked the, sh the most dumbest bracket ever. You know what I'm saying? Where is it? And mind you, he hasn't stopped hitting me the fuck up. Like, God damn, bro. Where is it? I know he DM'd me too. Bro, this dude. This dude, Limitless. So DM me again, Limitless. Let me see this bracket. I don't know how his bracket is this cracked. I don't know how his bracket is this cracked. All right, JD. All right, we're not going to take this type of talk from the plebs. That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to take this type of talk from the plebs. Or at me in the bracket, bro. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Bro, this bracket, boys, this bracket actually cracked. I, I don't know how a human being... First of all, who the fuck picks John Beast? Like, I love you, Beast. You're amazing. But who picks... Bro, I don't know if you guys can see this. All right, now we can see a little bit better. Look at this bracket. Ice over... No, look, look, bro, he got all these right. Oh, Tony beat Jeff, though. That's his one hiccup. He got John Beast over K-Mac. John Beast over Joke. He's got... Bro, this is like perfect. I swear to God, it's not real. I swear to God, it's not. What's our date, bro? January 21st. Oh, my God, bro. It's not perfect. But he had the perfect Final Four. He had Earl going way too far. He's got to He's gotta get some negatives for having Earl going that far. Oh, y'all can't see that side? My bad. Let me move it. He's got Earl going all the way to the final, final six, final eight or whatever. Yeah, Earl, that's a little, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a little rough. I mean, he got a little sloppy down here. Down the bottom was a little sloppy. He had Stiff winning a game. But, I mean, the, to get the final four, boys, gotta be, that's gotta be a dub bracket. That's gotta get a big chunk of money, right, boys? Has to get a big chunk of money, right? Or what do you think? It can't be zero. A perfect Final Four and the winner, got to get a chunk of money. Got to get it. Got to get a good chunk. Got to be a dub. No? Y'all saying no? It's got to be a dub. Ten bucks? Nah, 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 nah. Nah. This, this at least, this at least two hunch. This at least two hunch. At least, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This at least two hundred. This is a good, this is a good, good bracket. Somebody else said they had another, did anybody else have another good bracket? Yeah, this is really good. This is the best bracket we've ever seen. I'll be honest. Best bracket. I'm going, to, I'm going two hundred for sure. A thousand channel points facts. Three hundred. Oh, now y'all going up. We went from zero money. Now we're at three hundred now. Now we're at five hundred. Like Jesus, y'all are sickos. Did anybody else have a good bracket? My man Giant says his bracket is better. Please, please DM me the bracket or at me in the bracket right now on Twitter. Uh, take a hundred dollars off for each wrong answer. I mean, he's got a lot. He just probably had like three hundred, really. He did have eighty-eight a little too far. He did, you know. And he had Earl a little too far. He got a little. He got a little horned up on the NFC side. He got a little horned up, but. 
at the end of the day, he had the right. He right the final two in the NFC. So I mean, it, I feel like I feel like the final four is the most important part of a bracket, right, boys? Final four is the easiest part, or the hardest part, and it's the most important part of a bracket. To have a perfect final four is kind of nuts, especially the John Beast pick. I feel like the other picks were kind of chalk, like the J Wall fancy pick. They were kind of chalk, you know. But the John Beast pick. That that was bust out. That was bust out. Okay, we got some other brackets. I'm going. I'm, I'm listen. This bracket is number one in the book right now, boys. Right? We agree that this bracket is number one. All right, they tagged me. Let's go. Let's see what we got. All right, what's this one? This giant. This is giant. Okay, let's see what he got. He's got J Wall, Pavin, uh, Wesley. He has joke. He has John the Beast going out early. That's gonna hurt him. What's up here? We got. Tony, Pavin, Noah, Ice. Got that right. Got this part is perfect. He just doesn't have the John the Beast pick. Let's see over here. He's got ghosts over here. Okay. He's got this all right. All right here. He's got this right. He's got this right. Bro, this is... He's got everything right other than John Beast. Ooh, this giant one is tough, boys. He's got everything right other than John Beast. Oh, is this one better? Is Giant better? What we think, Chad? The final four is wrong, though. No. I don't think it's way better. But what do we think, boys? I feel like 200 East. I feel like two. I feel like 200 each is cool so far. Anybody else? Is anybody else? The B side, he just, if he would have picked John Beast, it would have been perfect. He got two wrong in the whole thing. He's got two wrong in the whole thing. That's pretty nuts. And honestly, this is pretty. Uh, let me see when you posted this shit, bro. I, I, I need, I need January twenty first. Okay, when did I post the tweet? January nineteenth. Okay, okay. This is pretty nutty right here, boys. I'll be honest. He's only got two wrong. I think this might be a three hundred. I think this might be a three hundred. Nobody got perfect. What's his name had the perfect bracket? This might be a three hundred and a two hundred. How about three hundred for this? Two hundred for the other one. Yeah, I think 300 and 200. What we think, boys? I think that's a dub, right? Or 250 each. This one... Yeah, all right, first of all, let's relax. All right, if it was your money, who would you pay? Like, Jesus Christ. I, I feel like 300, 200 is a dub. And honestly, what you guys, I, I, listen, listen, I have never paid out a bracket challenge ever. Nobody's ever had a good enough bracket. Nobody's ever given a shit. <laughs> there is a point system. If the point system was right, uh, Giant would win. I feel like he is the number one one. I think he's number one. Giant is the number one. He is number one. Yes, Giant is the number one bracket. They play for it? Ooh. <laughs> The final four, uh, yeah, we'll see. The final four is strong. But he had a lot wrong, though. Limitless had a lot wrong, but had the right final four. And do we value Do we value the John Beast pick over all the right answers that Giant had? Tough. I feel 300-200 is it, bro. He did have Earl in the Elite Eight. Yes. All right, Giant. Now, that's the case. Having Earl in the Elite Eight is nasty. That's fucking nasty. He had Earl in the Elite Eight, and he had Stiff winning a game. But he had John Beast. Best of three. <laughs> in a game of head-to-head. -head. Oh, my God, dude. No, I'll, I'll reach out and make those. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else in the chat that had a bracket? I don't think anybody's beating that. Oh, I got a DM. Who's this? Quentin Griffin? Yo, my name, my Twitch name is QBusy. I'm trying to get into the competitive man season and would like to know more information about Bot Wars. Please, if you have a chance, hit me back at your earliest convenience. Least you could do is considering you Eagles put the smackdown on my Vikes a couple years back in the NFC title game. Quentin Griffin could be a bust out newcomer. Could be a bust out newcomer, bro. Quentin Griffin, a new bust out. I don't know, boys. 
Quentin Griffin. He said my Twitch is QBizzy. QBizzy. I don't know. Quentin versus Earl. I, I'll be honest, boys. I have had immaculate ideas for bot war, Boss Bot Wars 2 in two weeks. Immaculate ideas. Oh, my God. Some of them have come from my mind. Some of them have been brought to me from the outside. I ha I'm, I'm telling you guys. Last time was good. We're going to look back at the first Boss Bot Wars as boring. We're going to look back at that as that that was like the preseason. We're going to look back on that as if it didn't happen. From what I from what I have on the plate right now, boys. From what I have cooking, I'm telling you. Is it the 20th? We're going to look back. I'm telling you, the first Boss Bot Wars will be, it will be, I'm telling you. What I have cooking up, boys, boys. The Boss Bots, the secret Boss Bots. The secret bosses are just, yes, it will be the 20th, February 20th, boys. Put it in your calendar now, February 20th. I got Jaybird, Vols, Salty, Earl all locked in. I have a $1,500 prize pot. Um, the slant was tough, but it could get better. The ideas, the ideas that we are cooking up right now, boys, are insane. They're actually insane. Do we want to do a play-in tournament to be the challenger? Do we want to do that? Is that something you guys think is a good idea? You know? <sighs> do I just put all four bots up against bosses to see if they can fight their way out? You know? Andy with the gifted. Let's get it, man. All the bots versus bosses. Who knows? I, I'm telling you, I, I have I have a week and a half to, to pinpoint the perfect format. We did it before. We had the perfect format. I like the gauntlet. The gaunt the boss the bot gauntlet is is amazing. It's immaculate. You know. <laughs> All bots versus bosses. <laughs> I have a lot of bosses lined up. I, I'll be honest, I have so many bosses lined up right now. Jesus. Well, let's talk about the patch, boys. Let's talk about the Skimbo patch. The more I play the game, I realized all they patched was Skimbo. I realized that. I don't know if you guys think anything else changed in the patch. All they did was patch Skimbo, a poor streamer that just likes to play the game for fun and entertainment. That's all they patched. You know, and Skimbo's a good guy. He won't complain. He won't complain about it. You know, but that's our job to complain about it and and point out that all they did was patch a, a poor streamer that just tries to play their game and promote it and play for entertainment. That's all. Patching a content creator, a grinder, a stream grinder aficionado to patch him is crazy. Now I thought the patch. I thought the patch would patch more things, but the more I play the game, the more I realize it really is just a skimbo patch. Yeah, he turned down the commentary. He said, I'm too good. I'm going to get my lights out. It might be that. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened, but they, they came after him, patched him. I will tell you this, 335 odd still works. Um, 146 still works and stuff like that. It's It's pretty nasty. You know what I'm saying? Next thing, I, I, I don't know what, he, what they'll patch next. I really don't know what they'll patch. 335 odds still works. But uh, the patch, I don't know if the patch was out last game or last, whatever the hell, what was last? I don't really don't know. They're going to take out passing next? They're going to take out a bunch. <sighs> rough but I they really only passed him let's talk about the Madden Classic I know we talked about it with Jay Wall um I know we discussed the Madden Classic kick rocks you gotta say you gotta kick the big ones too kick the big rocks let's talk about the Madden Classic man because there was a lot of there was a lot of crying and, and backlash when these Madden Classics were were announced well, there was a lot of Negativity when these were announced. Uh, do you guys agree or disagree? I I feel like everybody was upset. Um, I feel like these these uh, tournaments. It is four separate tournaments. 
um, two regs tournaments, both on PlayStation and Xbox, and two draft champions tournaments on PlayStation and Xbox. So the total of four. I went and got uh, Madden on PlayStation. I have obviously have Madden on Xbox. So there is your four tournaments. And I believe it's a 50K prize pool for each. Is it? I'm not too sure, but I think it's 50K for each. So a total of $200,000 um, they're giving away for these four tournaments. Um, now we were going into the, in, we were going in the clubs with no idea of the future. Um, we were kind of at the disposal. If you asked me, I would have said there was no going to be no tournament, right? Um, but they did give us these four tournaments uh, for a Madden player, a Madden grinder. I'm excited about it. Obviously, um, obviously for me, what was I going to say? We would all want more money, right? And for, in the buy-in, listen, the buy-in. I think the buy-in should be more money. I don't know why there's any backlash for a buy-in for a tournament. I I don't. I feel like, you know, this goes to are you serious about Madden? Are you committed to Madden? Are you entrenched in competitive Madden? Is this what you want to do? Um, I believe, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, the classics where you had to go to had about a $100 buy-in or something like that. You know? Marie, what's up, man? So... I, I think there's nothing wrong with the buy-in. You know, if, if you want to play, yeah, Chris, that's what it was about. It's about $60, $60 to buy in rigging. Yeah, I'm saying I, I, ha I have nothing against that. You know, if, if you're not willing to, to play a buy-in price, like, are you, do you really want to compete, right? Even, even what I'll say, even the Madden Challenge had $10, really. That's pretty much how it was. The Madden Challenge was $10 to, to get into the Madden Challenge back in the day. So, for me... That that was the biggest. I didn't like there was backlash to that. I'm excited about it. You know, I, I like I, I will say that if you put yourself in position to um to uh if you put yourself in position to to be told what you can make and what type of money you can win, uh you're always gonna be at the the expense you're always gonna be at the mercy of EA. And uh, I think the lack of viewership on these tournaments is going to ultimately affect the MCS and how much money they can give away. Uh, people got to understand, EA is making so much money, right? Uh, they're making a lot of money with this mutt and mad and everything that they do. But I don't know if the MCS is making them money. That's what I'll put out there um, just for you guys. So I don't think the MCS necessarily is making them money. And I'll continue to ask, why would they keep doing it? You know, especially if, if we're not grateful for it, you know, <laughs> that's that's how I feel. I feel like we should be super grateful that it's still a part of Madden, you know, or it's still it's still uh, still a part of our lives. And we just talked to Jay Wall, whose life's forever going to be changed by the MCS. My life was forever changed by the MCS. Skimbo's life was forever changed by the MCS. There's probably, you know, 10 to 20 people whose lives have been changed by the MCS, if not more than that. Like, lives completely turned around and changed because of the MCS. So uh, my gratitude for them to the MCS is... Uh, my gratitude is, is is high, personally. It really is. Um, and and I, I, I think um, everybody should have that mindset for the most part. I don't know why the negativity towards it. I would love if it was, a you know, $200 million a year, really. But... Uh, for me, uh, it's not, I feel like we, I don't know if it's going to get there. I don't know if it's going to get there with the lack of viewership on the, uh, the lack of viewership on the Twitch. You know, I, I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. I feel like in, in the prime 17, 18, even 19, it was way bigger than that. I don't know why we're out here with the, with the terrible, uh, the viewership really. I don't know. And, and honestly, the only thing I pay attention to is is Twitch. I don't know what's going on on YouTube. I don't know where it's what's going on. Yes, every everybody deserves money. I I don't have a problem with the money they pay out. I don't. I think I think the money them paying out fourth and eighth and sixteenth place is what makes it possible to to just play competitive. You know, I I played Madden eighteen and I I didn't make I made one final four I didn't win a belt but I still made a salary from just from the competitive side so I, I honestly feel like um 
them paying out a lot of places is good. I think they lowered the amount of Club Series places they paid out. Obviously, I think only a Club Series winner should get paid. I really don't know the exact numbers, you know. You know, I think giveaways, I, I don't know my opinion on the giveaway thing. I really don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what give if giveaways are good or bad. I really I hate the chat. I watched J Wall play uh Derwin for like one for like two quarters because I was waiting for J Wall to get done to get up on a show. So I watched J Wall play and J Wall had this like I like it's rare that a player like plays mad and I'm like, damn, that was tough. But J Wall had this play on his first touchdown where he like stepped up in the pocket, then he swerved out of the pocket. Like he just had really good pocket and he just avoided pass rushers. And then he threw a dot to somebody on a kind of a broken play in the back of the end zone. And I was like this. I was like, damn, the chat about to go crazy, right? So naturally, as a streamer or everything, when a good play happens, you look down at the chat to see, yo, the chat's going to go crazy. So I see J-Wall pull off this, I'm honestly, a really good play, a really skillful play. And I look down at the chat, and all I see is claim, claim token, claim token, claim token, claim token. Nobody said shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was kind of ass, bro. <laughs> I, I was hype. I wanted to type in the chat. I almost typed in the chat. But for me, it was like, bro, it was kind of ass. So I do do uh, do do the giveaways help? Obviously, they they add a lot of viewers, but it it it, it, it kind of pissed me off as a streamer and a Madden player that nobody was hype about that play because I I was hype, and it's rare that I get hype about a great play like that for real. It was kind of I was hype. Oh, me and Skimbo ate off those Dion codes. I can't lie. We ate off them joints. We, yo, we took the same picture of one code and, like, the different pictures. We posted that one code in, in a bunch of different backgrounds. Like, yo, post this code over there by the rocks. Oh, post it in the sand. Oh, post it with the buildings in the back. <laughs> yo, we, yo, we ate. I swear to God, our Twitter accounts were made off of, like, Madden 18 Dion codes. You know, I feel like they're kind of ass now. I feel like the giveaways are kind of ass. I don't know if they're not giving them giving enough people codes, but I feel like a lot of people had codes for giveaways on Twitter. I don't know. No, we ate off of those codes, bro. We all posted the same pictures, too. Nobody realized that. It, it, I guess, I mean, me and Skimbo are the same complexion, but I think there was only my hand that was covering, <laughs> that was covering the codes. <laughs> well, he used them, yeah. Just cover up the thumb. They were the same code. It was the same card. Saying. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the I don't know if the giveaways help Twitch or not. I don't know. But ultimately I I don't really know, you know, what the future is for MCS really. I hope it keeps going. I love it, you know, even getting popped these last two years. I still love it really. Uh, yeah, Madden Live doesn't help the viewer retention. It doesn't help. I, I, I now this is I, this is how I've always, I've always wanted Madden Live. When I was a smaller streamer, I always wanted Madden Live. I was I was really like salty that I could never do Madden Live. Um, my whole life, I was always salty. Like when I won the belt and stuff, I was like, "Yo, I hope I get Madden Live. I'm gonna get my streams gonna be popping." And uh, I never got it, and I was really salty about that. But now that where we're at now, I would never want it because. Those people aren't there for you, really. NCAA football will be, we'll make it comp. Yo, everything, AP, let me tell you something. Everything we do, we make it comp. I suck at MLB, but I'm still competitive as fuck in it, right? Right? For real. Lil Lukey, he wants to get 50 followers. He'll be live all night. Lil Lukey. Listen, if you're live right now, we'll check you out, Lil Lukey. You're a sub to the channel. You're a silver badge. Lukey, go live right now. We'll check out your stream. And we'll rate your stream. Matter of fact, we will rate your stream 1 to 10. Lukey, go live. We'll check you out right now. Let us know when you're live. We'll check it out. Oh, Matt, I'm telling you, NCAA will be calm. We will play. We will play. Matt, listen, Madden Live doesn't grow anybody. What streamer has made it from Madden Live? I'll tell you that. No way. Uh, actually, and that's news, Kels. 
Players Lounge will have MLB. Players Lounge will have MLB. And do I play do I play MLB on money games or do I get flooded? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> MLB. We might do MLB bot wars early. I don't know, man. I am the bot on MLB though. I don't I don't think any I don't think any streamer is made from Madden Live ever. Yeah. But alright, let's talk I, I I you know, I think I think the future is as bright as EA wants to make it really. I don't know. I really don't know what they could do, uh I don't know what they could do to make MCS better. I don't know. I don't know, boys. I I think I, I you guys know I think best of three is the death of best of three is the death of competitive Madden. I I think it is. I'm watching the Sixers in the hell game right now. Dot Fox MLB Bot Wars. I'll tell you, ten thousand subs, but we're buying the bus. First stop, Arkansas. At 10,000 subs. So we're 7,000 subs away, boys. I, yeah. I asked another question. I think Earl, and, and, and someone said this about Earl, he is the town drunk. Like, you got to kick him out every night, but he comes back tomorrow with a happy face, you know? Skimble has a different attitude towards Earl, and I respect it. You know, different people. No. Double him his ass. Actually, the double elimination is not bad. The best of three is ass. Double elimination is not... It, it, like, the way club series is before you get to the club finals is, is good. Great. Really. Really. I think that's great. The town drunk. That's who That's who he is. That's who Earl is. Bro, one day, like, you just, like, the, the bartender has enough of Earl, and they just kick him out, and then he's back tomorrow to have fun. Really. For real, for real. One day I hope to be on any type of broadcast or yay. One day. Maybe when I'm 40. Who knows? It's not It's not because of me, boys. I'll tell you that. But Mike Lethal. Mike Lethal. No, I, I, Wesley, I don't think it would be. I don't think it would add anything to the broadcast. I don't think it would add anything to the production. I don't think it, add, it, it would just add a second chance for people that lose. That's what double elimination and best of three does. It adds a second chance for people that lose. There's something to be said about the guy that didn't need the second chance. Although Jay Wall did need the second chance in both his tournaments, really. For real. But I don't know. It's always, it's all. I feel like it's always been something to say about the guy that didn't need the second second chance. Really. March Madness would be terrible if it was two out of three. Hey, Jordan, you lose if you miss three easy field goals like I did last night. You just lose. That's that's part of it. Well, you just lose. All right, listen, Call of Duty. Bro, listen. Football is football, bro. If, listen, if... I don't think Madden succeeds. I don't know. I just, I'm just against it. I'm against, I'm against best of three. Am I going to, am I going to start the army and pitchfork cart to go stop it? No. I, I don't I don't have a super strong opinion about it. I, if you ask me one way or the other, I would always have picked single elimination. I won in single elimination. I won because I, I I was prepared for people. I won because I put the work and I was prepared for different people and I I played a good game at the right time. You know what I'm saying? And those other guys didn't. Like at some point we gotta say, bro, like fucking win. 
Oh, I don't have to look competitive aspect. The competitive aspect is is the basement. The competitive player's mind is the basement. You have to think of who is going to watch this shit. Who is going to be entertained by this shit? Yeah, show the fuck up and win, dude. Like people have been getting unlucky in Madden since the beginning of Madden. It's just it's just going to happen. And truth be told, it's what makes it exciting. It sucks to say that, but people getting lucky and unlucky is what makes this shit exciting. For real, for real. Especially for the casuals. The casuals is what's going to put money into the MCS. Not the 100 competitive guys. For real. It's not. Nobody gives a shit about them. People getting cheated is it. People have been getting lucky and unlucky since Madden started. It's part of the game. If we, I don't know how people are just don't, I don't want to say, I accept that you're going to get cheated sometimes. You're going, and you're going to be on the other end of it uh, the other times. It's a 50 50 world. You know what I'm saying? Now I'll tell you, Wesley, the double elimination, I'm way more for that than the best of three. The best of three shit is trash. I think it's trash. I do. But the double elimination, I, I still don't love it. But uh, I think it's a bigger deal. I think the double elimination is a bigger deal early in the tournament than it is late. That's how I feel. Like, once you're against other players that are that good, like, bro, show up and win, bro. For real. Everybody needs a second chance. Fucking nut up, bro. Nut up. For real, dude. If you play, if you play enough tournaments, you're as good as Wesley, you're as good as J Wall, you're as good as Skimbo, or or I tell Clef this all the time, bro. If you just keep playing, it's gonna happen, bro. Just just nut up and let's go. You don't need a second. I've never seen so many people beg for a second chance, bro. <laughs> I've never seen so many pro players beg for a second chance. Yeah, I mean the game. The game could be a little bit longer. The, the the runoff and the running, the game is really short. You know, I've, but the game, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, but I like runoff, man. I've, I've lived, I'm old, so I've lived so much Madden where it was like impossible to stop somebody from getting a field goal at the end of half or the end of the game. I feel like, bro, if I'm kicking off with a minute 30 left, Right? And you have one timeout. I got a shot on defense. I have a shot. You know? I have a shot. My man, Key. Key, you, key, you with the prime. I don't know. I just feel like football. At the end of the day, man, it's football. That's, that's, I, and maybe y'all differ to me. What I love about Madden is his football. Football is not a best of three. It's not a series. It's not even a double elimination thing. Not the fuck up and win, bro. For real. Uh, you know what Patrick Mahomes is saying? Yo, Super Bowl should be best of three. You know, I got cheated the first game. The rest were bad. For real. <laughs> yeah, I feel like double elimination is only good in the beginning. Before I, saw, I, I feel like people don't. I, I've never seen so many pro, you know, best players in the world need second chances. Nut up, for real. Yes, it definitely, with the runoff, I, I love the runoff, but I agree it should be, it could be longer. I agree with that take. Six minutes would be cool. I do like the accelerated clock. I do, I do like that aspect, really. I don't know about... <sighs> I don't know about the out, out of the huddle every time, but the end of half, I love accelerated clock. Out of six is one, yeah. I just feel like, bro, you're gonna get cheated. That's part of life as a Madden player. I don't know how we, I don't know how we got, uh, how we got away from that. 
I, let's be honest, boys. Let's be honest. Whether it's best of three, best of seven, best of one, bro, that shit's not going to save or make the make the content better. Can we agree on that? No, the league is ass. League is league. Eli, league is the worst thing you can do. Can we agree that it's not going to change? People aren't going to line up and start watching now. Oh, it's best of three. Let me watch. A league is ass. They try to league. It's ass. League is terrible. You know. I don't think there's anybody that's not watching that says, oh, it's best of three now. Let me watch. I I think, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Le a league is bad. I'll tell you that right now. League is ass. Yeah. Madden is a tournament thing. B even better, it's a one-day, two-day tournament thing. That's what makes Madden great. You know, that's what made Mo so good is that he was able to show up and win these fucking tournaments, you know, playing 20 games in two days or something like that. You know, the bus, I told you, Josh, John, a, a thou, what, 10,000 subs were getting buying a bus. Jay, I mean, you, I mean, listen, I, I honestly, if it was best of three, I don't think I had, I don't think I have a belt really. No one wants to watch. That's the worst part is that when people get popped twice, it's just boring, bro. Bronx, I mean, dude. Yeah. That's what I think. Well, but the invitation will be good. I remember when the first tournament, Madden 16, was an invitational. As like a comp guy, like an underground guy, I hated it. I was like, yo, how do half the people already get invited there? But now I think it would be a dub. I think it would be a dub, right, boys? Like if they, I, I want to be a part of this shit one day. Shit, bring me back to a final eight. Bring me Skimbo and Problem and freaking uh, K Mac or who else is a streamer that's competitive? That's the big compet Clef. I mean, I don't even know who else is the big big streamers that are competitive. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, me Problem and Skimbo and K Mac. Really, would that be more entertaining? I don't know. We had we had that one event where me, Kiv, Skimbo, and Problem went to Vegas. That was tough. That was a dub. But see, streaming is I don't know. <laughs> Might be Trey's only chance. Trey is tough, bro. Trey is tough right now. He just gotta get the he gotta get the it factor. Once he get the it factor, Trey going with a belt, bro. I promise. <clears throat> All right, boys. Who wins a belt first, Trey or Boogs? I would put Clef in there, but I think most of you guys would pick Clef. If I put Clef in there, who like who wins? Uh, who y'all like, bro? <laughs> I'm telling you, Trey is tough, man. He just got to work on the it factor. Skimbo, that's a tough question, bro. Damn, a lot of Trey's. Nobody believe in the Boogs. I, I'm telling you, I feel like Trey is tough. He just got he just got to work on his it factor. He work on the it factor. <sighs> Boogs, I don't know if Boogs got Boogs kind of got the it factor. I don't know what Boogs got to work on. Trey is a grinder. It's a young people where it is a young person world now. Trey or Dave? Vilma's old, but Vilma. I, you know why I think Vilma would have made a little run in the clubs if he didn't get disqualified. The the thing that's saving Vilma now is he actually has a mutt team. Like so, next year I hope he says I'm going to play mutt from the beginning. Damn. Oh, the fear factor? Wow. Do, so people don't fear bugs? All right, boys. You guys play Madden, right? You guys are Madden players. You have a game for your life. Here you go. All you got, everything, everybody in the chat plays Madden, right? You have a game for your life, right? The Grim Reaper comes comes out, right? With his, little, with his little sickle, right? And he says, you have a game for your life. Who would you rather play in that game? Bugs or Trey? Game for your life. The Grim Reaper comes out and says, boom, 
Boogs or Trey, who would you guys rather play to save your life? Who has less of a fear factor? <laughs> you guys would rather play Boogs? Damn. Damn. This is crazy. User. A user was not in the question, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Boogs definitely. Boogs, Boogs was the closest to being J-Wall. Boogs had J-Wall on the ropes under the water. Bo Trey do throw up for every challenge, but that's not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know, hey. <laughs> Y'all funny, bro, stiff. <laughs> he should have beat J-Wall, so, I mean... Ah, old dirty funk doc. My God, thank you, buddy. Thanks for the sub, too, man. Five months. Jay Fratto in the building, too. Gold badge. <laughs> I'm losing them both. I mean, Trey did quit on Apex. Qu Trey quits on games all the time. He's just not a grinder of games. All right. Mike Lethal. That's a different my tray. It's a different tray. It's a different tray. All right, let's go to some 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 unbanned requests. How many unbanned requests do we have, boys? Is Lou on unbanned requests? Is Lou in the unbanned request? Where's my mod view? Here we go, boys. Eleven new unbannies. 11 new unbannies. 11 new ones, boys. 11 new unban requests. <sighs> oh, man. What are we going to do with these guys, boys? What are we going to do? 11 new unban requests. Here it is. This is the first one. Gavito. Banned by Blitz. Blitz was getting a little crazy, boys. I'm be honest. Blitz was getting a little crazy here. He was getting a little crazy. We love drunk games. Drunk games. Oh, that's my guy. Drunk games, bro. Drunk games. Oh, this was Drunk Games Friend? I mean, yeah. Apologize, bro. Drunk Games Squad. Yeah, the, yeah, we did ban, we did vote to ban drunk games. He was getting crazy, bro. They got mad because they said I said I had money. That's what drunk games said right there, bro. We did vote on it. How much Bitcoin you got? I'm 15 minutes from the Gucci store. They know me on a first name basis. I won 200 grand on the bucks last night. How you gonna ban me from having money? Damn, bro. Free? Do we free him? Big money drunk, bro. Free him, bro. We got to see what he got to say. My man, Curveball. Wow, man. <laughs> oh, damn. This guy's mad, bro. Damn. I can't free everybody, bro. I can't free everybody, bro. Free him? Why y'all want to free everybody? Free the king? Curveball? Y'all want to free... Yo, that's nasty. Imagine being a mod in a mad stream. Get a life, you lonely, worthless pussy. Like that, bro. What? I got I to ban him, bro. I got to, bro. Nah, he ain't the one, bro. He ain't the one, bro. Not yet. Lou got game. I, I banned him. Magic number 13. Lou's 13 ban, right? I swear at least seven of them are for dumb stuff. I'm sorry for calling our British friends YouTube video bullshit. Yeah, like, yo, we're, we're, we're opening up the content. We watched the British guy on his bike, my man Randy or Ricky, whatever his name is. We watched the dude, and he got an attitude. That's what I mean. I hate to... And Nate be doing the same thing, bro. We're trying to open up our content here. You know, I'm trying to get into other avenues. You know what I'm saying? 
anything else I stream is a W for for squad for us, bro. Oh, did I ban him? Damn, did I ban him for good? I don't know what I hit. Damn, I might have unbanned him. It's not. It's nothing to be debating about it. Like shit, my man Pac Man Dan. Yeah, like, bro, that's a super dub. I might have banned Lou for life. All right, here we go. Ponto. Bro, he was going crazy. Ponto was going crazy, boys. Yo, he was going crazy. I'm going to be real. He's a loyal viewer, bro. He He's a pretty loyal viewer. Um, Ponto. Um, what do I say? I feel like he's been following me. Oh, since February? Oh, he ain't been following long. Never mind. He been sub for nine months though. What the fuck? Sign vols. A lot of sign vols. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of rough. Damn. It's a little rough. He's a little unbanned. Ponto, I mean, he's been sub for nine months, bro, but he got way too crazy right now, bro. Yo, like. Why he gets so crazy? Is Ponto Vols's lurk? Is, uh, it might be low. It might be his lurk. Bro, I can't fuck with Ponto, bro. That was that was a little crazy. That was a little too crazy, bro. You can't have no jokes like that, bro. All right, easy. Okay, easy. Buy your girl flowers on Valentine's Day. Send them a secret admirer. If she doesn't mention them, she's cheating. Wow. Easy with bust out, bust out advice. Bust out advice for easy. I don't know. That's bust out advice. Bust out. He had to get a timeout. He was going crazy, but he knows the vibes. Where we at? Uh, easy John Doe. Yo, this guy is, bro. This guy is scumbag, bro. He's a scumbag. Bro, he's a scumbag. I'm going to bring him back, though. I don't, I don't like this guy. That's why I banned him. This dude, pick, I don't like this guy because his name is Clint Oldenburg. I like. I feel like that's corny as shit. I feel like when you're on this social media world, right, boys? Like, I feel like you, uh, you need to have your own identity. And if you live this life without your own identity and you're just a troll without your own identity, that's like the worst person, bro. Like, see Mallow in the chat? He's a scumbag, but he has his own identity, right? All you guys have your own identity. You know what? I respect, I respect y'all with your own identities, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Mert, he's a scumbag, his own identity, right? I feel like having your identity is important, right? You know what I'm saying, boys? So, I mean, I don't like this guy. Bro. I don't know, man. He was talking about the farmers. He was getting a little crazy about the farmers, bro. I'm, I'm going to let my man back. Though. I'm going to let my man back. But he got to figure it out. See, look at this guy. He's mean. Choking. He served you a hot L. <laughs> yup. With the B button scrub. GG bum. You are trash. GG bum. GG nice tackle. Hold hold that fat L. L, L, Expose this trash. Same play, then stop it. Don't suck. Ha, ha, nah. Looking like your dub hot ass trash. Promise I won't be an ass like I was that night. I mean... I freed Clint. I freed Clint. He got to figure it out, though. He got to figure it out. <laughs> the King Ward. All right. Ward ban somebody? All right. Who is this guy? All right. This dude not even saying sentences. He's just, he just blurting shit. Like, this dude got, like, Tourette's or something. Oh, this, this dude ain't it, bro. This dude ain't it. Get him the fuck. What is this? We banned this? Is this what we're doing? What did he put on? I mean, this guy's legendary. 
Hold up. This guy is it. Free the streets. There it is. There it is, boys. There it is. That's my unbanned request for the week. There it is. I mean, shit. Mod trials. Trump. You want mod? I, you know, I don't like giving away mods, bro. I don't like giving. I don't like giving mods, bro. I don't like giving mods, cause I feel like <laughs> this is what I hate. I hate when a Twitch chat everybody's a mod. That shit's ass. It's the worst, bro. Yeah, like, I, bro. And I feel like, like, it's a lot of y'all that I would like. And if I give one of y'all mod, I feel like, I feel like. Like I'm saying, I feel like then I should give 60 of y'all mods, really. Really. Mike Lethal, you're a legend, bro. And it's nothing, it's nothing worse than, you know, I want to be a mod, bro. Like, what? I hate when people ask that shit. <sighs> Fuck. Jules. Lance deserves it. Lance don't deserve a mod. He don't even be subbed, Mert. Dollar. Yo, Dollar. Yo, he in here all the time. He's like, he he's like one of the guys that could get a mod, bro. Gee, my man Blitz could do the bets. I don't know why the guy Blitz could do the bets, but you couldn't. I don't know why. You gotta figure it out. Yeah, Lance is then never getting a mod. You at least got to be like a one-year sub, bro. At least. At least. Nah, G, I don't know why, but the dude Blitz could do the bets. No, Dollar... Yo, Dollar changed when we actually played video games with him. I feel like... Dude, I feel like you have the game with us, bro. Yo, I feel like you uh, once once I game with somebody, then you really know who. To, once we gamed with Dollar, we realized he was a Mexican. He was a frail little kid, you know. Really, he was like a he was like a thirteen year old Mexican kid that just got his first Xbox, for real. You know what I'm saying? All right, boys, but I'm glad we had a good time. I'm glad I was able to talk to J-Wall, man. Uh, Dollar's, Dollar's been the man. He's a troll, but he's a man. You know what I'm saying? VIP for channel points. Let's take a look at our channel point rewards. Is there anything that should be a channel point reward that isn't, boys? Right? Where do I look at that shit? Insights. Not channel analytics. What's like... Mod, no, mod is not one of them, ever. All right. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. Somebody redeemed the 50. I ain't even pay him for the 50. I mean, we got a lot of stuff on here, boys. VIP could be one, but I feel like... I feel like you got to earn that shit, bro. It's like just getting channel points his ass. And I don't want to put my own more, more of my own money... <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like we're pretty good. Bot Wars participant. Oh, shit. Somebody's getting burnt for that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Derwin hit me with a DM. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Is it happening? Uh-oh. Derwin's in the DMs, bro. We might have gassed him. We might have gassed Derwin, boys. We might have gassed him, bro. Oh, man.
<laughs> Do we put the Earl as the worst bot of bot wars? I mean, shit. We're going to have Derwin's going to be the boss gauntlet. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll lay it out. I'll, I'll tell him what it is, bro. I'll, I'll make a little video tell him what it is for real, for real. Earl doesn't... Oh, the only, <clears throat> but what do we do with Derwin? I'm telling you he would do it, bro. I'm telling you he would do it. I told you all that. Like, he's a man head. <clears throat> So do we just get him to be the gauntlet guy? Do we get him to just be the gauntlet? Is he the gauntlet guy? Ward versus Derwin. <laughs> the mini boss, he should be the secret boss. Like, what's the best, bro? Oh, there is no fanboy shit, bro. I have the the ultimate bots, bro. Do you see my list of bots? I think Vose is the only one that would curl up like a little girl. Salty is right at Derwin. It's Vos. Vos is the only one like, wow, you know, I, I'm a big fan, man. You know, the way you play, the way you play in the box and you play back and, you know, it's just, you're just really good. I wish my Cowboys had somebody like you. And listen, the, and honestly, the chat is going to let him have it. The chat is going to let him have it, right, boys? We're going to air Vos out if that happens. If that happens, we're going to air Vos out. Nah, Jay Bird, Jay Bird would cap, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think it's a dub? Or do you think it would make it awkward if we had... What do you guys think? Would the, would the bot... Skimbo puts up a good point. Would the bots... Would the bots, you know, frail up with Derwin? Or would it be... Would, it, would the content still be there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The cap is what... You know, when you're playing people you're comfortable with... You know, I I don't know. That's why I like I like a little bit of I like a little bit of history in the bot wars. Like like that boy as the contestant is a big dub because of his history with Vos and his history, you know what I'm saying, capping at these kids. That's why that's a dub. Without the cap, it's like ah, it's a little bit light. I don't want it to turn to Derwin versus the world. I could have, you know, I should have brought CP2 in here to let him go to sleep during Derwin versus the world. He, yo, like CP2, let's go ahead and watch Derwin versus the world. He going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll tell him that, bro. This is real life. I don't know. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Is Derwin really an L? No, I'm not doing something. Bot Wars can't be subbing. We had 3,000 people in the last Bot Wars. And I told you, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The ideas that we are coming up with, boys, boys, boys. The, the secret bosses I have lined up for this event, y'all are going to cry. Y'all are going to cry cry with the secret bosses I have lined up. TD Barrett? Set date? Yes. February 20th. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Kiv versus the Trap House. Part two. I'm telling you, the secret boss idea... No, the secret boss idea is good. It's good, Mr. Football. 
so that's what I mean, man. There's a lot of personalities. And that's how I know Madden is popping. Because when I ask you guys who should be the, the gauntlet challenger, everybody has a different idea. So you guys know there's tons of personalities. And that's what makes that's what makes Bot Wars the best, because we see the personalities for real. Yeah. Banks, 88. Yo, J Wall said deliverance. That's a bust out. Oh my god. Deliverance is a bust out. No, Madden is dead now, Skimbo. We're actually doing really well. Like, this is really good for us, bro. We're doing really good. All right, G Shock, be safe, buddy. Thanks for coming by, my guy. Rag? Yeah, but I feel like Derwin's a different cat, bro. He's like a real football player. Like, Jay Bird don't know how to cap it, a real football player. <laughs> Deliverance is funny, bro. Mr. Football is a good, he's a good, he's a good challenger. I'll be honest. I just, I just know I have so much, I have so much, so much content. I have so many ideas. And everybody I ask is like, yes, please. Like, asked, you saw J-Wall, he's like, I'm ready, let's go. And J-Wall is the best player. Joel? What have we got, Joel? <sighs> Joel? Joel's a good one. A plan? Oh, so uh, the the four bot the four bots we got already are are too good, bro. The four the yo the four the four bots we have already are really good. So YouTube man, if you guys have any suggestions, Spoto, Spoto would be yo. Sp I feel like Spoto's a little bit too good. <laughs> I don't want somebody just get in there and run the gauntlet. Like let's like. We can't, yeah, like, like we can't bring on like J Wall would run the gauntlet, D Croft would run the gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted, uh, I really wanted that boy, but he don't really got, he don't got an Xbox. Cause I want to just see that boy. I want to see that boy versus Vos on the mic, on the cam, mid game. I, that's what I want to see. You know, I want to see that boy versus Salty and J Bird. Like, I, I, we need to get Black Madden in on the uh, Bot Wars, man. I can't. I, we can't just continue to have these white guys talk this shit like this, bro. It's kind of. It's kind of light, really. Laney is a dog. Bugs. <laughs> Bugs. Bugs is the worst shit talker ever. Bugs is the worst shit talker. Like Skimbo talks better shit than Bugs. Like if there was a shit talking competition, Skimbo would beat Bugs. AKG? I, bro. <laughs> Skimbo had one bad slip up. But the slip up, see, Skimbo gonna look back and realize the Spoto game added to his legacy. It added to his legacy. Now, I was surprised there would be, uh, be TD Bear. I thought TD would pop him, bro. Really. But then J Wall popped him, so. About right. User. User's a club champion, bro. Shakobi. Oh my god. I need bugs to get back on. But once he gets his house settled in, he'll be he'll get back. He'll be able to fight back, bro. He been he been busy the last month for real for real. So I don't like I don't like I don't like uh talking too much shit on bugs when uh when I say when when Bugs when he can't fight back, bro. Simu can't be on Bot Wars, bro. Throne might be in the I'm telling you, bro. I've been in contact with a lot of people. They might be in the works, boys. B I always thought BG would be a great uh challenger. I thought BG would be a great challenger. BG versus Zan? They're, they're rivals? Oh, shit. <laughs> Mr. 
Maze. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get everybody, man. It's gonna be good. I promise you guys. What 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 what, what we learned is gonna be good. Or what I have in the, have I lied to you guys? What I have in the works, we have as a team in the works is gonna be good. Trust me. March Madness Bot Wars. Oh shit. Oh my god. Ooh, March Madness Bot Wars. Alright, boys. This was the Needle Podcast, episode 117. Glad to get to sit down with Jay Wall. The TNC kids are uh, they're not even the future of Madden anymore. They are Madden right now. The TNC guys, you know, we got to get back. Us old folks got to get back. I'm telling you, g Pal, bro, Bot Wars Gauntlet is, it is, it's it, it's it. And, and we did it. We did it. The chat did it. We made it popping. Honestly, the chat started Bot Wars. All we did was carry it. That's all. All right? And we are going to carry it to the biggest entertainment on Twitch on in Madden. The biggest Madden entertainment on Twitch. For real, for real. I would put Wint Go in the gauntlet, but I think he would just lose the first game. I don't think Wint has a chance to win one game, and I feel like that's bad for business, right? Maybe maybe that'd be good. Put a bot that has no chance to win. That way we get Jay Bird versus Vos. I feel like that's good content. <laughs> Like, Wint would go in there and just get popped the first game and then it'd be over. For overall. Oh, Wint won. Wint be civil in the tournament? Okay. I'm telling you, we, we are. Yeah. Wint, when Wint told me, man, he said. Entertainment's not my strong suit. Gameplay is my strong suit. Put Jesse in. All right, boys. But like I said, man, I'm glad uh, I was able to talk to Jay Wall. The TNC kids are the group. I'm telling you right now, I'm getting. If you guys don't have this right here, Ace Madden, it's where I'm going right now to buy this Jay Wall ebook. I've seen enough. I need to see what I need to see what reads they go to, man. I really do. Where is it? I've seen enough ebooks. Okay, there it is. Where is it? This one right here. Site's a little laggy, but you know, I mean, it might be my connection. There it is. $25, absolute steal. I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing. You guys should too. Check it out right here, man. Oh, I don't even know if this is. Let me go back. I gotta make an account. Are they, so they're gonna know that I, see, I don't want them to know that I bought it. The fuck? I wanna keep it on the low, bro. No, I, I would tell you guys, check this out. I would tell you guys, anybody that plays Madden should buy this. Uh, buying this ebook, honestly, will help you better than uh, than buying another pack, for real, for real. Not even if you run it. Like you guys know, I don't run I don't run Trips Tight End, but I don't like playing against it. And if I know what plays they got and what plays they like to go to, then it helped me out a little bit more, honestly. Website's looking good. I'm, pre I'm telling you, TNC guys are tough. They're next up. They are up. They're, they're right now. You know? Oh, man. I like to support all aspects of Madden, bro. I like to support all Madden players, for real, for real. You know, uh, if I can't support Madden players, what's the point, man? Earl doesn't have an ebook. 15 and 5, baby. 15 and 5. Actually, yeah, I'll play some Madden. Let's go. Uh, Need a Podcast episode 117, boys. Um, we're up over two and a half hours now. I hope you guys like hearing from Jay Wall. Like I said, follow all them links. Check him out. Um, I feel like EA... I don't want to say they don't do enough for these kids, but these kids should be superstars. And part of it, they shouldn't have to be the ones to do the work to be a superstar. Right? I feel like they could do a better job, and I can do all I can to help these uh, superstar Madden players um, become uh, bigger names in social media and Twitch and YouTube, everything. Um, I really think uh, uh, they could do a better job at that. But I will do everything in my power to help these guys if I always have. Uh, but this was the episode 117.